Hey, what's up guys? It's uh, Artbook Addiction here, and we're here with a new art book review. So today, we're going to be looking at uh, Gil Elgren and all of his glamorous pinups, or glamorous American pinups, right? Um, if you don't know Gil Elgren, he is most famous for his obviously, you know, uh, pinup work. Um, he was a student of uh, Hatton Sunbloom, right, and took a lot of his um, was, was very inspired by uh, his his finish, right? That's that's what I would say. Because uh, they w the way they paint um, is similar, right? You, you always have like that nice, like especially in the hair, that quality of a uh, like this kind of smooth, like almost like one stroke looking um, quality to his work. Um, he is uh, one of my favorite artists of all time. Right, a huge inspiration of mine. Um, uh, I, I I hope to be a pinup artist one day, or like you know, well I, I guess I am a pinup artist, but like to be this level, right? Gil Elvrin, um, really huge inspiration for me. One of my favorite books, and uh, a, a great way to start the year off, right? <clears throat> Since this is gonna be my first year, uh, sorry, my first review of uh, 2021, right? Isn't that such a futuristic sounding year, you know, in the year 2021? He does an art book review of Gil of Yeah, um, really love his work. Uh, he was most prominent, I think, during like the 40s to 50s. Maybe I'm wrong, I'm probably wrong about that, but yeah. Um, if you're not familiar with his, with his work, I recommend you check it out. Um, this collects all of his pinups, right? Um, I think there is a a Tashin version of this book, right? Because Tashin really loves Gil Elvgren, apparently. Um, so yeah, his, his work is easy to find. These books are not very expensive. I think they're like 20, 30 bucks, right? Very accessible, very easy to find. So um, yeah, uh, you guys won't have a hard time finding this one. Um, but yeah, with all that said, uh, please uh, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It'll really help out the channel. And uh, let's just let's just get into this. <clears throat> All right. Oh yeah, this is the uh, the this is the Barnes and Noble version of the book. Apparently, I don't know. I just got this used, so it could have been any version, right? Here we go. Um. So we're starting off pretty hot already. Oh yeah. So you know, obviously, um, since this is a pinup book, obviously it's gonna be a little bit of schmexy, right? So. Uh, you guys aren't okay with that? Please uh, be aware that this is an entire book, dude. The entire book is smexy shit. But you know, if you're like, if you know Il Gil Elgrin, then you know you you know what you're expecting, right? Um, these are a little low quality. You know, I um he he works primarily in oil, so it's for for some of these images, um, it's gonna be hard to tell. Like right here, the way the way. The way this is printed makes it look like uh, like pastels, but it's not. It's their their oil paints. He works primarily in oil. Ooh, there you go. See, not see with something like this, you can see. Um, I'm just guessing that uh, each one has like kind of like a different level of uh, quality to it, right? Because you know you you can't always get perfect images. There you go. Got the table of contents. Wow, look at that, man. Oh, man. His work is just so, so nice, man. It's just like, you look at it and you're just like, ooh, it's like, it's like, it's like drinking uh, a Coca-Cola, dude, after a hard day's work, you know? Like a fresh one, just pff, pop that can open, dude. Pff, ooh, refreshment, okay? <clears throat> Yeah, so, um, oh, is that John Kaser? Yeah, yeah, it is. Oh, nice, dude. Bro. Um, so these are, these are not his. Uh, or actually, this is, I think this is his, right? Yeah, yeah, this is his. Um, these are just, like, you know, inspirations, talking about, like, you know, the pinups, right? And this one's talking about the, the life of Gil Elvgren, um... Yeah, you know, you guys could read this on your own once you get the book. We're, we're, we're gonna skip all that. We'll just go to the... Oh, dude, here's a... 
here's a really cool page, right? So we have, um, hold up. I feel a, I feel a sneeze coming. Ooh. Oh no, that's worse. Oh, it's worse. Oh, it's a half sneeze. Oh, I'm not even gonna sneeze, bro. That sucks. Oh. Okay, sorry. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. Does she hate half sneezes? Like, I'd rather just fucking sneeze and get it over with, man. Oh my god, it's like in my nose. Okay. Anyway, so this is cool. We have, um... So, we have Norman Rockwell, right here. We have Gil Elgrin, which is this guy right here. This is the man of the hour. Um... Brown and Bigelow Revenge. Oh, okay, I guess these are the only prominent artists in there. But yeah, Gil, Gil Elgrin and Norman Rockwell, dude, in the same fucking room, dude. That's awesome. That's fucking awesome, dude. I think this is talking about, like, um, inspirations, right, and, and other artists of the time, right? Like Harvey Dunn, right here, uh, who was a... No, no, I was gonna say he was a teacher, but he wasn't a teacher for, for them. He was just, you know, prominent at the time. <laughs> yeah, love Harvey Dunn. I've covered, I've actually covered a lot of these artists, right? You got Dean Cornwell, Harvey Dunn, um, let's see. McKellen Barclay, never, never heard of him before. <clears throat> Probably look at him, like, look at him, yeah, look him up later. There you go. Here we go. Um, we got a couple of his works here. Oh, dude, this, this hat in this work. Oh my fucking god, dude. You know, it... Like, <clears throat> when I look through the Haddon Sunbloom book, right, I just wish he would do more sexy shit, right? And basically, Gil Elgrin thought the same fucking thing, dude. And he was like, I'm just gonna make a career, dude. Okay, out of that idea, right? <laughs> Doing Haddon's uh, finish, but with sexy girls, dude. And that's, that's what Gil Elgrin's all about. We're, we're, we're just gonna get past this because uh, his uh, his paintings these aren't all his paintings right here. yeah yeah see we're, we're, <clears throat> we're gonna get to a point where it just becomes his work so let's uh, let's kind of just breeze over these areas these are really nice paintings though these are really nice there he is look at him I feel like you know Whenever you see the artists for like, you know, for the work that they, you know, you see, you obviously see their body of work, and then you see the artists, and you're like, huh, I didn't imagine him looking like that, and that's like always the case, right? Um, and I don't know why, like I just always had that feeling, like, huh, that's what he looks like, and it's never what you think, and I, I think that's kind of cool. I guess I guess you don't really know what to expect, but uh, oh my god, these are nice. <laughs> Look at that! Wow. What are those uh, sloppy joes right there? Those are, that looks fucking delicious, dude. Yeah, you, so you can see how in like these advertising paintings, um, they could just switch stuff out, right? They could just edit stuff out. Like I think this is a this is not paint. I don't think this is painted. This is like a photo. That they superimpose on top or some shit. I don't know. Yeah, see, this is painted. This is like the real painting. Here we go. Copper tone. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so she, so uh, a different artist of the copper tone. Who's uh, somebody else? More inspiration stuff. More inspiration stuff. This is him. Charles G. Martinet. That's the guy who, I, I'm assuming, owns Tashin, and I, 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 obviously he's a big fan of uh, Gil Elgrin's work, man. Here we go. Here we go. Now we're. Just give me a second. It's really cold right now, so my my hands are are stiffening up with the weather. So uh, I got this heater right here on the side just to keep me warm. And I just needed to move it for a second. There we go. 
the Lewis F. Dow years. Okay, so I'm assuming that the Lewis Lewis F. Dow is the publisher. There we go. Here we go. Ooh. So um, what 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 you didn't read before, like what what was part of the writing before is like they they talked about what um the idea for Gil Elvgren's work was right. It's uh uh what do you call it? It's a wholesome, all-American girl in an accidentally sexy situation, okay? Right? And uh, that's what we're going to see. That's that's the entire book, right? We see this, uh, this beautiful American woman, right? And then, you know, whoops! Guess what happened, dude? Elevator got caught, dude, okay? And uh, that shit rising, dude, so uh, that shit rising. You get what I'm saying, dude? You get what I'm saying, dude? Right? <laughs> Here you go, it's happening with the, the blinders right here. Whoops. Yeah. Oh yeah, because the oh 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 okay, okay. Here we go. We got, we got a little bit of storytelling right here. We see you see the uh the blinders and the, the dog pulled on the string, causing this to lift up and catch on the dress, dude. Okay. Right, this one. Um she's uh she's wringing out the, the clothes, right? But then you know, I guess it went too far or or I kept going, right, and then just pff, got caught, right, right here with the vacuum. Beautiful. Um, one thing I don't like about this book is that there is... They have a really weird format, which kind of bothers me, where it's like, you know, like, oh, the big here, and the tiny here, and then the, like, like, the sizing is, like, all over the place, you know what I mean? Like, try to be, like, ooh, artsy, you know, but I'd rather just have... Like images that don't intersect with each other, right? I'd rather just have like, like, tiny and then tiny, or, or you know what I mean, like, or like one big here and then like the different versions here. You know, it's, um, that's one thing that kind of bothers me, right, about this book. Just, just gotta say like the layout, you know, like look at this, like what is this? You know what I mean, like, like. Yes, the images are really, really nice, but the way they're laid out is just like, like, what's going on here? You know, like, Jesus. But yeah, um, we got the boxer chick from earlier, right? See, they look a lot better when they're smaller because, um, the I'm I'm assuming the photo that they took was not that high quality, right? You can see right here that this is kind of like lower quality, so you can't really tell. Um, something like, as opposed to something like this, right, where you could, you could see the strokes, you know, like, see, this one's a little bit more high quality, right? Um, what the fuck happened here? Did she, oh, okay, so I'm assuming she was, like, you know, she was, she was smacking the ball around, and then she, like, fell on top of the net, and that shit ripped, you know, and she's like, oh, shit, dude, but now she got, she a little bit, like, ooh, you know, she a little sexy now, oh, you know, damn. I'm telling you, bro. Whatever, whatever you, what do you, whatever you have that you want to advertise, you just, you just have this girl, dude, and then you have like a little bottle of what, you know, and then boom, sold. Okay. Damn, bro. Here we go. Slip offshore. Ooh. Skirting trouble. Oh, dude. See. See, in this, in this image right here, um, the audience is the dog, you know, right? We're like, we're like, <laughs> you know, like in the old cartoons, right? That's how I feel. When I see this, I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> Aru! Look at that. It's, oh, why does this have like a kind of like cartoonish, um, umbrella? Look how, look how short this umbrella is, dude. That, that, I don't think that would actually work. <laughs> yeah, but it's nice. Oh, see, this one makes more sense. See, the, the car passing by and uh, the water sprinkled on. It's cool to see all these, like, different variations on it. Um, let me see. Hold on. Let me see. Are these... Oh, you know what? I remember. I remember what they did. So what what would happen is, um, like this would be used, right? 
um, and then like you know for an advertisement, and then like uh, like couple years later, they'll 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 take the same painting and then they'll they'll repaint it to re to to fit it into another um, advertisement. Yeah, so it's just reusing some of his old paintings, um, and not not everyone. Like not every one of these paintings were repainted by Gil Elgren, and that so that's important to know. So like, uh, one two. Yeah, some of these are just repainted. Like, what is going on with this photo right here? It's awful. Yeah. There we go. Oh. Yo. Doesn't this take you back, dude, to, like, being, like, a fucking, like, a high schooler, you know? And then you're, like, you know, obviously it's looking through the keyhole, right? You know, and she's, uh, she's changing out, right? And then, you know, a little adolescent boy learns, uh, what it means to become a man, you understand? Right? That feeling in the pants. Damn. Here we go. Uh, ooh, this one is nice, right? We get a, she's like, ooh! You know, she's, well, a accidental, you know, opening of the door, right? And then there is a, but the problem is there's, she, she's covering up, so we can't see nothing, right? But we got the, the mirror, dude, to be our, uh, our backup, right? And we're like, oh, excuse me, man. You know, close the door again, right? Uh, leaving uh, with a smile on your face. Here we go, another one, right? <laughs> Looking through the mirror. Oh! Right, she's putting on her uh, pantaloons. Ooh. All right, French dressing. Oh, see, she's uh, she's French, dude, so she don't mind, dude. You know, she's like, hey, why don't you come in, dude? This one's called Peak of You, number number one hundred four. Wow, that's nice. I like that they included the titles. That's that's something that's really nice. Let's see. Uh. See, a lot of these, I feel like a lot of these were, um, um, hard to find, I'm guessing. Or, like, you know, because, because, uh, they were, because they were, um, repainted, you can't find the original painting. So, like, the only version is, like, this really, 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 really low quality version, right? So that's, so that's, that's kind of a shame, you know? And then, you know, with the... With the repainted version, they could easily get a photo of it, right? Yeah. I just- I- I, I don't like the inconsistent quality of, uh, this book. That's one thing that I'm not a big fan of. See, this one looks... Um... Oh, wow. I actually like this version more than this one, right? Let's see. 11 one Yeah, so this is a, this is a repaint of this. Okay. Yeah, really nice though. And then what 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 would often happen is uh, they would paint these signs right in the background or whatever, and then you just you know put your advertisement there. Oh. Oh me oh my, this one is really nice. Yeah. Look at that. I read that he, um, that he painted with 32 colors, 32 colors on his palette. He had a huge palette. Hold on. I think it's, I think maybe it's in here. Hold up. I'm not sure. Uh, there's, there, there was a picture of him with like his palette. I think maybe it's not in this book. It could be in the, uh, the great American pinup book. Um, yeah, yeah. It's not in here. There's a picture of him holding, like, a giant palette that's, uh, like, um, imagine the size of, like, like a pizza tray, right? It's like, it's like, like, you know, and, and, and just having that in your hand, and then there's, like, 32 colors on it, and that's, that's what he was painting with, dude. Um, he painted usually pretty large. Um, he painted, let's see, 30 by 40s. 30 by 40 paintings, right? So these are these are ginormous, right? Um, 
At least, at least in my book. Some some people consider that like a small painting, but I'm like, uh, that's pretty fucking big, you know, relative to the human. You know what I mean? Okay. Um. Is this the same image? Is this is this repaint? Hold on. 115. Yeah, this this is the repaint. Yeah. So 115. 16. Yeah, I actually like this one a lot more. Um, something about the way they took photos back then, everything seems very, like, overexposed, you know? But, like, you can see right here that um, the colors are much better in the repaint. And I, I don't think it's because of the repaint. I think it's because of the, the quality of photos back then. You know what I mean? Here we go. Got uh, this girl... Their dog and their penguin. Oh, this little penguin friend. He's like, hey. Yeah. And another one. Hey, hey. Yeah, I'm just a penguin, dude. Let's see. Oh, a girl is trying to. Trying to find out her true weight, you know? Right? Um, I guess with high heels on, which is funny because I don't know. Like, obviously it's just for the image, right? But, like, you know, you think that the high heels would probably add some weight. You know what I mean? And then the dog comes in, hey, hey, you know, right? To 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 ruin the the the, the numbers, right? There we go. Got a woman with a mouse, and she's like, oh, you know, this is not it's not that crazy, sexy, but um, here we go. We got a we got a repaint, fresh lobster. Damn, dude, so fresh. It's that's just alive, okay? And uh, he a pervert, bro. He's like he's like, hey. Yo, uh, before you eat me, dude, check this out. Oh, damn. All right. Yo, palate able? Damn. Because it's, uh, because she's palatable? Damn. Yes, she is. See, like, I can't, like, some of these, some of these don't look very good, right? Like this one and this one. And I think it's just, it just has to do with the quality. You know what I mean? Because, like, I feel like if you zoomed in, it'd probably look amazing. You know what I mean? So, like, it, there's there's a lot of image where I'm like, I'm like, I don't know if that's the right way it's supposed to look. You know? Or maybe he just got better through time. Hold on. Oh, dude, this one is really nice. Dar she blows. Ooh. Fun house, dude. Station wow. Okay, look at that. I guess she's doing some uh, exercises, dude. Right? Damn. Trying to look good, but she already looked good. You get what I'm saying, dude? She already there, dude. Let's see, C worthy. Ooh, C. Ooh, that's a that's that's some that's some fun wordplay right there, dude. Right. Um, and then you get a little bit of that leg, right? You get that little bit of that inner thigh. Okay, just enough, dude. Just enough to titillize the senses, right? To activate the the uh, caveman part of the brain to go. Ooh. And see, what I love about um, his work is, uh, it always makes you feel very like. Like, like, it appeals to the caveman, and it appeals to the philosopher, right? The beauty of a woman is a complex thing, but also the most simple thing, right? Here we go. Um, I guess she's, uh, stranded, uh, and she's, she's just, uh, on a river raft, and I guess that the bra is either gotten wet or is being used as a as a thing to catch wind, you know, I, I, don't, I don't think it's gonna catch that one. Maybe it's just like, she's just drying it, you know what I mean? Here we go. Got a girl fishing. Oh. We got a fucking seagull coming in, dude. Taking the fish. What a bit, Dude, fucking asshole seagulls, dude. Dude, aren't seagulls just the fucking worst, man? Like, Jesus. They're always so annoying, dude. Like, one time... Um... I was eating at In-N-Out, right? This is like an SF. 
right? This is by the, the wharf, uh, if you guys know the area. Um, and there was like, there's an army of seagulls, dude, just waiting, just waiting for you to not pay attention and for them to swarm in, dude, and, and take your shit, right? Um, what, what, what would be the best way to like lure them off is like you get a fry and you just fucking throw it to the side, dude. And then they, they would like, like an army just, you know, for one fry. Okay, and then you'd eat, 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 and then, and then hurry up, you know. And then uh, someone else would have to throw another fry, right, just to keep them at bay. Okay. Because, um, you know, um, if they see you eating a burger and you look away, okay, you look back, your fries are gone. Okay, all of them. Okay, they knocked it over. And the seagulls are all eating it, you know, those fucking bastards. Yeah. Here we go. Um, jail wind? What? Oh, tail wind. Okay. Caught in the draft. Ooh. See, some of these repaints are like, like, eh. You know what I mean? Like, I know. I know some of them weren't repainted by Gil Elgar, so it's like you could you could kind of tell when when it's his or not. There you go. Yo, weight control. Whoa. Hey. Oh. I love the way he repurposes them too, right? Like, you know when you know when you know it's him and he repurposed it. Like, see this one? This is so clever, right? Snow fun, dude. She just uh. She just had, you know, had a slip and tumble, you know, but she's she's on this soft snow, dude, so it's not a problem at all, right? I love this one, dude. I love that position, dude. This pose. Some fantastic shit, bro. Damn. <clears throat> see. Teeter totter. Oh, teeter tot her. Ooh. Hey. Now she's on a merry go round. Out on a limb. Ooh. Yo, you want to go out on her limbs. Oh. Damn. He's so nice. What is this, like, couch thing? You know? What is that? I don't even know. Is this a repaint? Let's see. Let's see if Tom Gal repaint. I don't know if this is Elgar's work, but this one, I feel like this looks like the truer, the true colors, as opposed to like you know back when the photo was taken like on the ad and like it's like overexposed as shit. Right? This looks like like a a more accurate version, you know. Because they wouldn't repaint the whole figure. They would just repaint the, uh... They would just repaint the, uh, background. There we go. Oh, she's getting a little tied up, dude. We got some... Some terriers coming around, like... Like, messing around. Uh, to help out the, uh... The, the audience, right? The audience is like, Oh! You know, and it's like... And she's like, Bad dog! And we're like, Hey, good dog. Okay, good boy, dude. Right? Give him a little snack. Right? We're giving us a little snack. Oh! There we go. Um, this time it's tree limbs, right? She's she's doing some yard work, right? Nothing better than a woman at work. Right? Beautiful. A good hookup. Oh! What is she wearing? Are those, like... Are those boots? Are those, like... Like the rain boots? I don't know. Yeah, obviously she's, she's not the... She's not an expert fisher, right? And then, you know, things happen where, you know, the hook gets caught and shit. Um, yeah. Has that ever happened to you guys? Like, have you, like, you know, I know it happens in the cartoons where, um, where, like, you're, you, you know, you go fishing and then, like, you, you reel back and that shit gets hooked on something. But that's actually happened to me where, um, I think it, it, it didn't hook on any part of my body, but I think it, like, caught on, like, my sweater. And I was like, oh shit, dude, you know? And uh, that shit's real, you know what I mean? Like, you know, like it's, it's funny for cartoon shit, but like that, that actually does happen sometimes if you don't watch uh, where your hook is, right? And it, it didn't happen to me, it was like somebody else um, 
pulling back the uh, the rod to like to fling it out. You know what I mean? Here we go. Defense on defense. Here we go. <laughs> I love that cow in the background going, "Hey," you know. Um, obviously, you know she wants to have that picnic, right? In a in a place that's like uh, maybe maybe not meant for her. You know what I mean? Like a, in a in a cattle area, I'm assuming. Uh, but she ain't gonna let that stop her. You know, she ain't gonna let this fence stop her. So she's gonna climb right over. Aren't these like? Aren't most of the time these things like electrified? You know, maybe they didn't have it like that back in the day. Oh. So we got this, uh... Are these Greyhounds? Is this a Greyhound? No, no, it's not a Greyhound. It's, uh... I can't remember the dog. It's it's one of those big dogs. It's like Scooby-Doo, I think. It's, like, Scooby-Doo is the same type of dog. Um... But yeah, look at that. Oh, the leech is getting caught up again. You know, Porsche exposing that little bit of leg. Ooh! Ooh. All right. Oh, this is a watercolor version. Whoa. Dude, he's pretty good at watercolor. Damn. Wow, that's really nice. This is a repaint? Uh, I'm guessing that... Um... Someone must have redid his uh, his thing in watercolor. Either that, or it's the same painting, and then they they whited everything out and then painted on underneath with uh, water. Is this watercolor? I'm I'm only saying it's watercolor because it's very like faint. But some some people have that kind of stroke to their to their work. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, dude, the dog was being naughty. Okay. All right, I guess something went awry. I guess he broke this thing or some shit. And she's like, oh, naughty dog. Can you imagine holding a dog like that with just one, one like, pinch? You know? That shit would be hard. There you go. A hitch. A hitch in time. Ooh. She's like, oh, gotta, gotta address... Ad uh, not, sorry, not address. Adjust the, uh... The, uh, what is it called? Not a strap, it's a... Or I guess the strap of the pantaloons. Right. There you go, another, like, sexy... Ooh, a little bit of leg action. Oh! Yo, we just want to see that thigh, bro. Just want to see that... Ooh! That goo. There we go. Oh, we got a little, we got a little performing dog, right? Ooh, lucky dog, right? Yeah, damn right, dude. And he's like, he's like, hey, yeah, dude. You know, I gotta hang out with her. You know. Latin from Manhattan. She doesn't look Latino in any way. Yeah. Um, oh, it's a girl playing billiards. I guess you don't really see the rest of the image, though. A lad her problem. Yeah, I'm guessing she uh, she's sneaking in to see uh, a lucky lad, right? Or 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 um, what do you call it? She's trying to escape, right, from a from a situation, right? Where like like oh, dude, the parents are home, you know? And she's like, and then like the guy's like, y you take the ladder, dude, you know? And she's like, well, why do you have a ladder set up? Don't worry about it. Um, oh, dude, she's in her, she's in her nightwear, right? She's like, don't stare at me, you know? But she's kind of like, she's kind of like happy about it, you know? She's a little playful about it. And, um, that's sexy. Here we go. 1940s, the early Brown and Bigelow years. Okay. Man, look at that 
so sexy, dude. So nice. Oh my god. Oh! Alright, so we're starting off strong, okay? With a, with a page of some beautiful nudes, okay? Alright. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Ooh, scrum diddly umptious right here. So let's, uh... Just give me a second. So you got this first one, right, with some, with a woman and her and some roses, right? Um, not much to say, dude, but, uh, oh, okay. I really like this one right here. Like, what is she, is she like a witch or, like, what kind of hat is that? Let me see, what, what's the uh, title? 165, Perfection Appealing. Yep, I mean, is there really anything else to say besides that, dude? And this one, I really like, 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 I guess she's like stitching up a dress or some shit, you know? But she just sitting there in the naje, right? And you got this wonderful, these wonderful fabrics in the background, dude. You know, it's just, wow. Wow. Uh, sun bath. Oh! Yo, let it all out, dude. Damn. I like my new bathing suit. It would be great if I could actually see it, you know, since it's so fucking low quality. I bet this painting is fantastic, but you just can't see shit. Oh! Listen. You see why I like this guy, man? You see why I like his art, dude? Okay? Uh, the appeal is right there, baby. Okay, it's right there. Oh! Oh! Damn, look at the quality, look at the softness, right? Look at the softness of that towel, right? Look at the, the, the warmth of, of her, like, cheeks, right? Like, like, throughout her body, obviously, right? But just, like, look at that quality of finish, man. That's something you don't get, you know, nowadays, man. You just... Oh my goodness. Is this is this from a window, right? Oh dude, see that's that's some good storytelling, bro. You know? Damn, dude. That's just so good. I'm just like I'm just fucking staring at that shit. So we have a, a woman giving a little foot bath right here. You know, she's just uh, chilling out. Um, is she sick? You know, she looks like she has like a temperature thing. Hold on. This is 169. Nice. Nothing to sneeze at. Yeah, she's sick, so she's, um, I guess taking a foot bath was a thing back then? I don't know. I feel like I saw that in cartoons where it's like, oh, you know, you're feeling sick, bathe your feet. And then they put, like, this special powder in, and it's like, I guess, I guess medicinal or some shit, but, yeah. Obviously that didn't, that, uh, didn't last. Right, here we go. Oh, we got a redhead, you know? She's looking very, like, vampire-esque. Right? A little dog, dude. A little cute little dog right there. Damn. She's like, where are you, doggy? And he's like, like mm. Let's see. Um, I'm just trying it for size. Ooh! Yo, you'll get my side, dude. Ooh! Look at that dog, dude. Look at, look, at, look at how transfixed he is, dude. Dude, cute woman plus pet. Always, always a good combo. Okay, just gonna tell you right now. Okay, that's that's an artist's secret, dude. Okay. Woman, animal, okay? Always good. Always good. Here we go. Um... I guess she's playing with a little, little guy right here, you know, and the dog's like, woo, 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 you know, and uh, she's having a good time. You know, I, I like that you can kind of see the, the, the grain of the canvas right here. You kind of see it a little bit, uh, which means that this is the, this is one of the higher quality photos, right? Because then you actually can see the texture of the, of the, the canvas underneath. 
Ooh, she just, uh, she, I guess she fell in, bro. Oh, she lost her shoe. Damn. Oh, no, she got it. She has it right here. Okay, cool. Yeah, she's just emptying it. Yeah, we don't want to lose that, dude. It looks expensive. Yeah, we have a girl out trying to cross the river, nice and dry. All right, so she's she's stepping on those rocks. She's lifting up her skirt a little bit, you know, so we get a little peekaboo action, all right? Beautiful. Um, I guess uh, her boat just got uh, overturned. Yeah. We just had a little falling out. Be careful on July 4th. It pays to stop and think. Don't play with firecrackers or you'll end up in the drink. Okay. Yeah, I guess uh, she, a firecracker went off and she got scared and, ooh, and the boat flipped over, right? Okay, here we go. This is one of my favorite images from Gil Elgrin, right? Um, and it's not even like that sexy, right? But like, here we go. What's really cool is you get to see how he got it done, right? So uh, you can see right here that he's he's got a model going, right? He has her um, up on a thing, right? And I guess this guy is just holding her up, right? As as Gil Elgin is like sketching, he's like, ooh, 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 get it down, get it down, get it down, right? But just like if you look at the model. And you look at the picture, like, they obviously, like, you know, the model does not look as good as the painting, right? But that's just kind of how it's supposed to be, right? Because, um, you know, as a painter, you you are there to uplift the natural, right? And that's what he does right here, where he just takes this uh, beautiful girl, right? And just, like, makes her into, a, into an angel, okay? <clears throat> into someone who, quite frankly, does not exist, dude. This is a... Uh, this is a technically unrealistic, you know what I mean? Um, and it just brings her to this iconic level, to just a moment in time, right? But like, look at that. Look at this, like, the quality of the hair, man. Look at like how it, like, it's so soft right here, you know? And then the, you have, you could feel the wind coming through with these leaves and the way the dress is flowing, you know? Like, and that gesture, it's just, it's just fantastic, you know? Um, and you got the dog coming out, you know, he's got the little, little bra in his mouth, you know, it's, it's just, oh my goodness. Or I guess around his neck, yeah. But like, the, oh my god, like the color, oh my god, this like, this blue, red, and yellow, it's just, it's just gorgeous, man. Look how, like, how, look how red this dress is, man. It's only you only get that with oil, man. You can only get that with oil, right? And then this yellow on the oh my goodness, bro! This is just a fantastic painting, man. You know? Oh my god! And I, I like how there's like you you get like this little bit of the the double shadow right here, um, because of the the way this fabric is, right? Because like the you you know you have the you have like the the bloomers underneath, which causes the the cast shadow right here. And then you have this kind of like semi-transparent dress, right? Which causes the second shadow right here. It's just, ooh, okay. It's just, ooh, all right. Bro, oh. So Tashin actually sells uh, prints of these that you can hang up. And I actually have, I actually have these prints. Um, that you could print, that you could hang up, and they're really fucking cheap, really fucking cheap. I got like fucking seventeen dollars, dude, for for Gil Elgrin's work. You know, and a very high quality print. That's a steal, bro. That's a fucking that's that's a deal, bro. Okay. Um, this uh, you know, if you guys don't recognize it, this is my my avatar for for everything, right? This girl right here, this is her. Um, and she looks fantastic, bro. And this is just one of those images that just like, like, look at the paint quality, man. Look at the, look at just the gesture of it, right? Her face, man. And like the composition of this umbrella, like, you know, just leads her all to the face. But like, you know, you got to see the rest of it. It's just, oh, okay. It's just, oh, my goodness, my goodness. Ooh. 
I love how thick this paint is right here. Ooh. You can really see you can really see the canvas texture. So this is a really high quality photo that they took, right? This is just just so well done. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is this is another one of my favorites, man. This might be my favorite pinup that he's done. Um yeah, cuz like it's just so nice, man. And like you got the hair quality. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ooh. Man, I got maybe I should take a break, dude, cuz uh I'm feeling the heat. You know what I'm saying, dude? Is this worth cultivating? I think it is. Oh, this this I think this is the same model right here. Here we go. Isn't this the open season? Oh! And the duck's like, Wah. you know, he's like, he's like, <laughs> I don't think that's what they mean, bro. You know what I mean? That's like Daffy Duck. Well, like, I don't know, man. But uh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that it is open season. You know. And then boom, gets shot. Got a guys got a nice cowgirl right here. Ooh, Jesus, one eighty-one, aiming to please. Oh, I gotta say, she got a fucking dead eye. Okay, she got that evil eye, dude. Cause I'm, ooh, I got hit, bro. Ooh. Okay, if she aiming to please, dude, she's hitting the mark, bro. Okay. We're back in the saddle again. Look at that. Look, look at that horse, bro. That's a good fucking horse. Yo. Man. I wish this was bigger. I want to see more of this. This is like the colors are so nice on that one. Back in the saddle. A wholesome all-American girl in an accidentally sexy situation. Ooh. I don't mind the ride. It's the jerks. Yeah. Okay, so she... she, she. I'm reading this one right here. Because I know you guys can't really see it because it's so small. Oh, we got a... Got a little bit of Hawaii girl going on right here. She's putting on the... The... the what do you call it? What's it called? Like a sash dress? <clears throat> or the, the... Whatever. She's putting on this thing, okay? And it's sexy, dude. And you got a mirror, and it's sexy, okay? Ooh. Look at that paint. Look at the... Just... Oh, my God. Masterful. Okay, that's all I gotta say. Oh. This reminds me of why I want to get in the pinup game, man. Because it's just so pleasing. You know what I mean? Right, I know not. I know not everyone is gonna be pleased. You know, there's gonna be a lot of, you know, people who are like, "Well, that's improper," you know. But like, come on, man. Like, that's a fantastic painting, bro. Come on, you know. Like, what you hate is that you like it so much. You get what I'm saying, dude? Come on. This one, like, really low quality. Don't really like that. The cads were stacked against. The cads were stacked against me. Damn. She, uh, she, uh, from York. There's cads. I really like this one. Let's see, is this, uh... Is she doing some chemistry? Is she... What is this? Hold on. 189. Now, don't ask me what's cooking. Ooh! 188. No, 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 this... What? Hold on. September checkups are on the way. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. September checkups on the way. To keep yourself in shape, uh, but too many cooks can spoil the broth, and too, and too many doctors gape. Yeah. As in, uh, doctors, are, they're, they're checking them out, you know what I'm saying, dude? I do, bro, this one is so good. I really like this one so much. Like I love her face. I love her expression, man. Oh my god. And the and just like the way the image flows, it's just fantastic, bro. Yo, what you cooking, dude? Well, I got all these beakers here. You know what I mean? 
Looks like it's like, you know, like a hot dog boiler. Wow. Oh. Who's, who are these guys? Bigelow? What, what are they called again? Brown and Bigelow. You guys. Man. Just... Ooh. Okay. Good Good job, man. Elgrin. Just good job, bro. Just fantastic, dude. Another one of my favorite images right here. This is another print you could get. Oh my god. Here we go. What is this? 190? Let's see. He thinks I'm too good to be true. She sits home every night just waiting there for you. She's perfect. Yes. But possibly, she's too good to be true. Oh! Just might be, dude. Just might be. Just might be too good to be true, dude. Okay, but she's sitting right there, dude. She's waiting for you, okay? Oh! Tell me, like... You saw this, dude. And you had like a little like cologne bottle or some shit, right? It's like, you know, and then they're like, they're like, they're telling you this message, dude. Would you not buy that cologne? Okay, that's all I gotta say, dude. I fucking, I just be like, fucking, give me ten, dude. Give me ten of those, right? Yeah. Got a woman by a nightstand. Do you think I know too much, right? Yeah, as in like, how about you say uh, yes, okay? Ooh! That's gonna be this entire book, dude. It's just me going, oh! Okay, so uh, get used to it, bro. April showers may bring May flowers, but there's a reason some gals gather rosebuds boxed early in the season. Yo. Is this like a Valentine's thing? Hold on, let's see. This is 192. American Beauties. I hope he misses... He misses me. Ooh. As in, like, marriage. Like, M MRS. Yeah. Misses. He misses me. Ooh. Let's see. Yeah, and then, and then it's just the same quote. <gasps> Nestor! Damn, dude, what the hell? Bro, that's hilarious. Keeping posted fan mail. Yo. Dude, I gotta send this to Nestor, bro. Damn. Wow. Call him, dude. Call Nestor, bro. Because, uh, you know, he got, he got that lady right there, bro. Damn. Or is it like Nestor Street? Wow. Oh, this is the one from that, uh, from earlier. Yeah. It's, re it's really weird because the other one seemed really high quality. This one doesn't seem like the highest, uh, quality picture of it. Yeah, but this is, bro, this is really nice, dude. You got, you got the maid, okay, right here. I gave him the, the brush off. Yo. See this right here? That little bit of, that little bit of squeeze right here. That little bit of differentiation of the muscles right here. That's just, that's just golden, bro. Okay, that's just just, mwah, okay. That's what you call quality. All right. Damn, dude. A little bit of squishing right here. Oh, oh, bro. Here we go. Everything seems awfully high around here. Let's see. I, I, I don't understand that one. Yeah, maybe, maybe like, she needs to, like, like, lift something up high and, like, you know, and then that exposes her ass? I don't know. I'm not sure. Or maybe she's like, yo, everything seems a little pretty high. Oh, you know what I'm saying, dude? Got that wall, you know what I'm saying, dude? Happy Valentine, my dear, and disregard, disregard my pout. Our February lover's spat can all be ironed out. Oh, it's like, 
Yo, I'm angry at you, but let's fuck. You know? It's Valentine's Day, dude. Forget about it, dude. Here we go. 197. Confidently, it sticks. Friends can help with sticky going. What is that? Is it like caramel? Or is she trying to make candy? I don't know. But, uh, you know, we as the audience want to help her out. Be like, yo, you seem to be in a sticky situation, dude. Let me make it a little bit stickier. Oh! There we go. Oh, okay, I remember. So, so this is kind of cool. This is kind of cool. Um, you know, we got this acrobatic, you know, pose being taken, right? Which is really, really cool. Um, but, uh, for him to get, like, this hair shot, right? Like, with her hair kind of, like, you know, you know, midair, right? What he does is he has the model placed upside down, right? Dude, look at that guy, dude. He's fucking... He's happy, bro. He's he's like, hey. You know, he he would place the hair upside down so that it would it would have that, like, you know, in-air quality to it, you know? Fantastic, dude. Bro, this image is really nice, too. We have, uh... Flying Trapeze Girl. Mm hmm Yeah, that one's just nice. It's just a nice pose, nice image. It's time to put the motion before the house. Is that like a movie thing? I don't know. Do you recognize me by my voice? Ooh! Yo! What's all these like squibbles right here? Is it? Oh, they're like party streamers. Okay, so this is like. This is one of those like masquerade parties. Yeah. She is she like Cleopatra right now? We got a you know a woman, um, a genie, you know. Damn, she gonna make your wishes come true. Ooh, what's your third wish? You. <gasps> Damn. This is a high quality one. Look at that smile, dude. Look at that all look at that all American smile, bro. Ooh. That all American grade A beef. Ooh. Yo. Damn. Look at her. Look at that smile, man. Look at that. Look at that 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 ooh. You know what I mean? I'm telling you, man, they don't make paintings like this anymore, man. It was a different time, bro. Just... Man, look at that. This is what you- this is what old advertisement used to be, man. You know what I mean? Like... Like... This is- like, can you imagine, like, Adam and Eve? You know? Having a painting like this? And then, like, that's, like, their advertisement? Like, that would just... That would be just so much better. You know what I mean? Than what we got today. Here we go. 203. This doesn't seem to keep the chap from my lips. Ooh! She's saying she needs some of your lips to keep her lips moist. Ooh! Okay, she needs that contact. Yo. Here we go. I must be going to waste. Yeah. I guess uh, maybe it's a little bit too tight, you know? Right? She got them birthing hips. Ooh! Okay. Right? But we... Listen, dude, maybe don't fit, but, uh, we as the audience don't seem to mind. You know what I mean? Yeah, I guess she just got a new gift, right? Damn. I like that he put his name on the box. That's good. Like, I, lo I love the way, like, this these, like, plastic, like, um, sheets kind of come out. You know what I mean? Oh, that looks so nice. Check and double check. Don't get me in a corner. 
Oh, okay, so they're talking about the game. Like, so they're playing checkers, right? She's about to... She's about to lose, right? Oh, yeah, dude, she can't do nothing. Yeah, she's, uh... She's gonna lose. Sorry. She He got him cornered. Here we go. Um... Now, here's a cute little number. Ooh! Damn, dude. What a different time. Oh, we got a Christmas present, right? We got a, a Haddon Bloom-esque Santa, right? Reference to uh, his to uh, his teacher, right? Um, I'm guessing this was like a... Like a magazine... Uh, Poster that you can you can pin up right because uh, you can see right here. There's like there's all these fold marks. Yeah. <clears throat> Bro, this is high quality. This is a good one right here. Fuck. Yo, and you can see like the translucent, um, like her legs through the things. Damn, dude. Damn, you got a little bit of slip. Oh. Advertisements suck now, dude. You know? i said this many times before, but, like... Imagine, instead of, like, you know, you got a YouTube ad, right? Instead of having, like, this shitty-ass ad that plays for 15 seconds, you know, live-action people... Whoa, whoa, whoa. How about you just have a painting? You know, you just have a painting, a really nice painting, and all you have, like, the little logo on the corner, and all you do is look at the painting, okay? I... Like I've said many times before, People, it's like, and you could click to pause, so you could actually look at it, right? 15, in, 15 seconds is not enough to look at a painting, so you just click, and you're like, oh, dude, I want to see the rest of that painting, you know? Ooh, 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 right? And then, boom, dude. And then, like, like, who, who like, who, who, whose advertisement is this? And then you look at the corner, and it's like, oh, dude, them, you know? And then, boom, dude, they're like, oh, we are a curator of fantastic art, okay? We know what you want to look at it, dude, so we're it's gonna make you pause. You know what I'm saying, dude? Man. Bro. Gil Elgren, dude. You gotta stop making hit after hit like that, bro. Strangers in the night. Two lonely people. We were strangers in the night. Oh my god, dude. I'm probably gonna get fucking copyright struck, dude, because of that shit, dude. Oh my fucking god. Look at that. We got, we got this Marilyn Monroe-esque woman right here. She's got this beautiful dress on. She's just... And she waiting there for you, man. So this, you got your Juliet waiting for her Romeo. You get what I'm saying, dude? Okay? Waiting for a Casanova, okay? And that's you, dude. That's the, that's the audience, okay? That's you right now, dude. Yo. Ain't a more beautiful sight on the planet, dude. And you get to see, like, like, listen, dude, listen. This is, like, this is the level of quality that this man has in his brain, dude, okay? Because not only do you see this beautiful dress right here, okay? But, they're, like, listen. You can see how the wind is pushing up against her leg, right? And you can see right here, dude. You can see the shadow, right? Right where the, the vagu is, right? And you can see, like, right here, the, where the the under the, the other side of the waist is. So you get to see, like, the imprint of her figure, right? You can see, you can see it. it's so subtle, right? You can see, like, this leg right here. This leg right here. You know, the, the, the box right here, you know? And then... It just, you could see it through the dress, dude, and it's just barely, just barely so subtle. So fucking subtle, dude. Okay, this, this. Ah! Uh, ooh! Okay, you can see, like, I think, like, see a little bit of her belly button right here in, the, in that, in that, in that shadow. Uh, ooh! Ooh! Is it any wonder why people like Gil Elgin's work, man? Okay? You know, 
I, like, I hope this guy, uh, dude, I hope this is a good start to 2021, guys, okay? That's all I gotta say, bro. Alright. Let me, let me help you guys out, alright? With some, with some, some classy images, dude. With some beautiful, classic American women, dude. Ooh! Here we go. He almost scared me out of my skin. Yeah. Look at that. Fantastic, dude. Yo, and she got this, uh... This big fur thing, right? I guess that was that was popular back then. Now it's like, oh, dude, can't have uh, fur outfits. Um, let's see, what is this? This is like a wedding dress. What is this? Uh, Two thirteen. Something borrowed. Something blue. Hmm. I guess she's borrowing uh, an old wedding dress. I don't know. I don't know, but it's sexy. But it's sexy, you know? Here we go. He wants to say single, but I'd rather not. Ooh! Yo. She want that- she want that wedding ring. You get what I'm saying, dude? 216. Oh, she's going to court. Let's see. The verdict was, wow! Ooh! Exactly, bro. You know? Yo. Uh, the, uh, the, the, what is it called? The jury has made its verdict, okay? And all we gotta say is, wow, okay? That's what we gotta say. There we go. Woman with a camera, you know, she's like, hey. Ready to take some photos? Ooh, she gave you that little wink? Ooh, bro. What's happening? 217. Oh, what a line. Wow, what a line. Maybe, uh... Maybe the, uh, the gentleman on the other side of the line said something that's, like, a little, like, hey, you know, and she's like, yo, quiet, yo! And then the fucking, she, she drops the book, dude. Damn! The honeymoon's over. Yeah, now it's time to, to get wifeyed up, you know? She's coming in with the... With the, uh... Rolling pin, you know? It's, uh, it's time for real marriage, bitch. Yeah, she gets- she puts you to work. <clears throat> Here we go. Is this the right angle, professor? Damn. I guess she ain't the smartest dude, but she gonna pass college one way or the other, you know what I'm saying, dude? Right? There you go, drawing attention. Yo! I like a woman who knows how to paint, bro. And she got the little shoulder, ooh! Right? She got this blank canvas ready for your advertisement, dude. So, just... Man. Dude, she's painting herself, dude, in the same pose. Bro. What is this right here? <clears throat> uh, 222. What's cooking? She's got a bachelor's degree, but I'll change that. Oh! D dude, that's smart, dude. That's a good one. Yo, she a bachelor? I'ma change that, bro. Ooh! Oh, dude, th and this painting's right here. Is she painting or is she cooking, dude? Yeah, she's cooking. She's got a pie, dude. Right? And you want some of that pie, you got what I'm saying? Oh! What's... What's so wrong with this? What's so wrong mean? What's so wrong with this? I don't know, I don't, I don't know what that means. Yeah, but she got, uh, she got her, her, uh, her babs out, right? Some, some fruit falling. Yo. Oh, okay, this is this is a high quality photo right here. We got a man on the television, right? Uh, and he's like, "Hey there, lady," right? And she's like, "Oh, damn! Look at that color! Look at the oh me, oh my, 
Oh me, oh my dude. Let's see what what's the what's the uh, advertisement here? Fresh. Yo. She looking a little fresh. Ooh. Nestor again? What are you doing here, dude? Yo. What the hell? Why is Nestor appearing everywhere, dude? That's fucking funny. Here we go. Let's see. Uh, 225. This is 226. This is... Socking it away. This way, I draw more interest. Invest investments should be. Yeah. She hiding that money, dude. Right here. Right under the dress, dude. Look at that fucking, like, look at that curtsy pose, dude. Look at that face, bro. Look at that hat, dude. I love how everyone, like, like, everyone, including myself, you know, we all dress like shit now, dude. We're all just wearing sweats. You know what I mean? We're all just wearing, like, fucking whatever clothing, dude. You know, but just... Man, look at what they, look what they wore before, man. Did someone whistle? Ooh! Oh, okay, I get what's happening right now. So she, she's, she's, uh, she's walking, right? And, uh, some wind passes by, right? And, uh, some, uh, men are at work, right? And they're in the sewer. And, uh, they get a little bit of, oh, vertical view, right? And they go, you know, and they, they, they let out a loud whistle, right? And she's like, who the fuck? Damn. Let's go around together. Let's, dude. Damn. Damn. This one, I don't know what's, what it says. Here we go. On the track, on the right track, my money goes faster than the horses. Yo. Oh, dude, she's a naughty girl, dude. She's like, no parking. She's like, I'm a park, dude. Fucking this, this, uh, this ticket right here. Fuck it, dude. Shh. You know. There we go. This is two thirty-one. Nobody can pinch me. Ooh. Here we go. One, two thirty-two. I run into the most interesting people. <clears throat> Damn, this is a really nice one right here. I really like the colors that are going on here. It was a different time, man. Different time, dude. Look at this one. Look at this angel. You know, just just on the ground, dude. Splayed out, dude. Anything better, dude. Any, any, anything that's more of a, uh, a sight for sore eyes, dude. I love how, like, that little bit of that red, dude, on the nips, dude, to show that she ain't wearing no bra, dude. You know, she going a little natural, dude. That's... That's what I call artisanal, okay? That's artisanal right there, dude. Only an artist can understand these little subtle, little, little nuances, dude, that just make a picture go, oh! You get what I'm saying, dude? Let's go on the bike, dude. This is really nice, too. Whew. This is E. This, this eaves up and Adam. This eaves up and Adam. Oh, up and at him. Okay. Yeah, they, they have like these little puns that are nice. Man, so nice. Oh. Damn, dude. Oh, you see right here? You see this kind of weird lighting situation? This is another... Like some more evidence that uh, this is a higher quality photo that they they took, right? Um, oh my god, look at bro. Uh, they really should, they really should just change the lighting for this. I guess I guess it was hung up somewhere, and uh, they they just had a they they just like oh we're just gonna find a good angle to take it from. But as you can see, because of the lighting, it it's kind of distorted. Not distorted, but like, um, you don't get to see the feet in the bottom portion of this really well. 
Um, I'm guessing this is the same model for each one, right? And uh, she is a uh, beaut, okay? <clears throat> I mean, look at this one, man. This is just like, this is this is this is art, okay? In its purest form, dude. Uh, beautiful visual imagery, dude. Uh, giving you uh, a feeling, dude. Right? Look at this. Look at that. I, li I like the way she pulls at this veil, and um, it feels like she's pulling the night sky itself. You know, like she's like, you know, like I feel the night, dude. Like, damn, bro. Damn. Man, I love the way that he treats these flowers, man. It's so fucking... This is just good, man. That's just... It's sexy. It's beautiful. It, it, it gives you this sense of wonderment, dude. And it gives you a little bit of that chub. You get what I'm saying, dude? That's, that's art right there. Alright? Here we go. The 1950s. The middle Brown and Bigelow years. Okay. So, I guess he's been working... He, uh... He found, uh... A good publisher with Brown and Bigelow because uh, they're clearly allowing him to make the work that he wants. Oh, damn! Look at that, dude. Damn, dude. Bubbling over. Oh, damn. What can I say, bro? What can I say, dude? It's, it's right in front of you, dude. Is it? Oh my God, this one is so nice. Bro, I wish this was bigger. A good connection. Oh! There you go. Dude, this one is so good. Best foot forward. Oh! Yeah, she just got out of the shower. She's, you know, painting them nails. Damn. Look at that smile, dude. Look at that. That's a smile straight from the 1950s, man. That's fucking the idyllic. Okay, beautiful smile, dude. Bro. Bro. Here we go. Oh, she's uh, checking the gifts. You know, what's in here? What's in there, dude? I love this translucent dress, also. Like, that's just. Like, the subtlety of it is just so nice, man. That's just so nice. Right here, too. My god. Sometimes a little bit of like translucent fabric is sexier than like, you know, just having a straight up nude. You know what I mean? Like, ooh, you know, because you get it's it's that little bit of peak, you know, peek under the covers, you know, a little bit of that extra. You know what I mean? You know, that little bit of mystery, right? That makes uh, everything worthwhile, bro. Ooh. Oh, she's dangerous, dude. She's coming in with that torch, dude. She got she got her fucking pistol ready, dude. Ready to clack. Who's there? <laughs> Damn. I know I'm sexy, but I'm also dangerous. Oh my god. Look at that hair. Look at this hair right here. Look at that. That's just. Oh my god. Is that is that? It was like a little scuff right here. I think that might be the picture. I don't know. Oh my god, look at that redhead, dude. Have I said that I love redheads, by the way? Because, uh, I love redheads, dude. But I think we all do. I think that's universal. Right? Here we go. To my good friend, Harold Mill? Or, Harold. Is that Gil? Yeah, yeah, Gil. From Gil. Damn, dude. Can you imagine getting this painting as a gift, dude? Damn, bro. Now that's a fucking gift. Ooh. Oh, me, oh my. And then look at this one, dude. Like, this one, I don't know why, but maybe it's the, I think it's the coloring, the lighting. But, like, I see this and I was like, oh, dude, Frank Frazetta. You know, even though Frazetta was, like, way later than Gil. Right? I don't know, like, this... I'm really getting that Frazetta vibe from this, but, like... Look at this angel, bro. Look at this fucking, oh my god, dude. You know, I have a lot of artists who, like, they 
like I, I have a like a top tier list and they always like they're like I, I look at their art and they're like oh well this guy's the best now and then, well this guy's the best now dude you know um but like the two artists that have always fought me in my brain are Gil Elvgren and Haddon Sumlum right um but like you know for a while there Haddon Sumlum he was like he was top dude right but I know sorry I used to have Gil as top and then I had uh Haddon on top right because i've been researching him recently right but then i'm looking at i looked at this and i was like back sorry gil sorry i'm sorry hadn't dude gil's right back on top sorry dude your student um he just he just did some work dude that's just breathtaking dude and it's it's sexy and i just oh my god i can't like look at this collection bro it's like all that you want you know all that you want bro okay like like i love the wholesome images from han sunbloom but like like i'm like oh dude i wish he did more sexy work dude and then like i'm telling you dude like it's like if like gil like heard that and internalized that and it's like i'm gonna make that's my career dude that's my career dude and i'm gonna do it good and i'm gonna do it like my own way dude and i'm just oh ooh. okay that's all i gotta say Ooh. all right Here's another one of my favorites right here with the grill, you know? A little bit of that, little bit of that um, strap coming out, right? That's just, that's tasteful, man. That's fucking, ooh. You know, and the hair. I love these billows of hair, just You could, you could almost like see the way that the stroke is laid, you know? Damn. More grilling right here, and she's like, she's like oh, don't wanna burn my dress, dude, okay? And the, uh, the, the audience, right, is like, don't want to burn that dress, hey? You know what I mean? Oh, oh. Uh, this one is not, it's all right. I think it's a photo. Like, the, the, a problem with the photo. Like, right here, you can see it's like, it's a, this is a really good image, but, like, the, the quality of the photo really ruins it, ruins the lighting. You know what I mean? This one's really nice. And this, this was my phone background for the longest time because, it, and you know what sucks? This is not even like a good image of it. There's, there's better images of this one out online. This one's also really good. Fuck. Oh. Whoa. You got that wardrobe malfunction, okay? That classic American wardrobe malfunction oh and she's like <gasps> and you're like hey <laughs> here we go um we had a wardrobe malfunction here but she's like she's like hey and you're like hey you know you get what i'm saying dude um this is pretty good like i said another low res photo Oh, man. Bro, look at that. Look at that slight pinch right here. That little pinch of the bikini right here. Oh, bro, right here. Oh, oh. That's what you call flesh right there, okay? Paint becomes flesh. All right, that little bit of pinch, dude. That's sexy, dude. Okay? I feel like a lot of girls, they think, oh, dude, we want some anorexic bitch, dude. Nah, dude, we want a little bit of that meat, dude. We want to know that what we, what we grapple, dude, is a little soft. You get what I'm saying, dude? Oh. Now this is just like, this looks like a like a realistic Betty Boop. You know what I mean? I don't know why. I'm just getting that Betty Boop vibe off of her, man. Oh, and a little turtle right here, and she's like, huh? what? I'm guessing this is a nude beach, okay? Because uh, she doesn't seem that perturbed. You know what I mean? At the, she's like, oh, I'm naked, but it's not like, like she's like shocked at it. You know, it's like this must be like a European beach. You know what I mean? Same right here, dude. Okay. Oh man, look at that hair. Oh my god, dude. Bro. Bro, look at that. Oh my god, dude. Yes, you know the boobs are great, but dude, look at that hair, dude. Look at that. <sighs> gorgeous, dude. That gorgeous treatment. Okay. A little weird dog right here. She, he's, he's pulling, he's pulling a thing on the, uh, the, her dress, you know. 
You know, she's trying to fix those tan lines, you know, and I'm like, good luck, bro. Good luck. Oh, it's it's a water water pump. Uh, this is really nice. I really this is a good quality one too. Oh man, I really love the the colors right here. You know, you got that 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 nice blue and uh oh dude with the dude the 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 white of the um the the undies or the dress i guess um contrasting against the, the the cast shadow right here and it's just like boom focal point and you know the woman she's looking at it too right i love this composition that's really really nice wow oh my god Oh, we got another girl with a vacuum right here. Bro. Bruh. That's gonna be this entire video, dude. Just me going, oh, and bruh. Here we go. Oh, she's uh, she's retrieving some files right up there, All right? But uh, as she went down, uh, mistakes were made. Okay, and her and her skirt was caught, dude. And now we gotta we get a little bit of that leg, dude. Ooh. See, y'all you know about Gil, dude. Like he ain't just he ain't just shown shown straight ass, dude. You know he ain't just shown straight titty. Even though he does, even though he does, yes, right. But like, um, a lot of his pictures, dude, are just showing the man's love for legs, man. Okay, and that's that's gotta be more emphasized. You know what I mean? I feel like legs are like huge. You know what I mean? Like a woman with good legs, it's like, oh, oh. You know what I mean? And I guess good legs mean good ass, you know, at the same time, but like, you know, like look at the beauty. Look at the beauty of these legs, bro. Jesus Christ, dude. Yo. Oh, look at this one. A shady trick. Oh. She looks a little angry at you, you know, and you're like, you're like, what you gotta do, you know? Like, maybe, maybe, like, we as the audience, you know, like, no. They're like, oh, her, uh, her skirt's gonna get stuck, and then she, and then she looks at you like, you knew, didn't you? And then you're like, hey, hey, dude, uh, didn't know shit, bro. I don't know nothing, dude. Okay. But uh, am I happy about the results? Yes. Yes. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh. Look at that pinch. Look at that pinch of the... Uh, of that strap. Oh my goodness. Dude, I love... I love the way... He does fabric, right? It just looks like like frosting, you know, like a cake, like, like a delicious cheesecake, you know, like that texture of like, like, oh, I want to eat that, you know? Oh, I want to eat that. You get what I'm saying? Oh, oh, so good, man. This treatment is just so good, dude. Let's see what's happening right here. Oh. One of the oars, you know, it got a little bit misplaced, right? And then a little, ooh, you know, and she's like, ooh, ooh, man, look at that. Look how the, the toes kind of get lost in the painting, you know? But if you squint, it's like, it's all right there, man. It's all right there. The colors here are so nice. Oh my God. that expression dude that's it was a different time man it was a different time dude <sighs> oh i guess she's uh trying to glue up like a banner or something right and uh you know mistakes are made she uh, punched a hole through the through the banner or the wallpaper and then she's like, wow. You know, now she's got a, bit of, a little bit of that glue on her, right? A little bit on her dress, you know, that glue. Ooh. There we go. 
Oh, another nester. Nice. Any store? Is that, is that what they're trying to say? No. Just nester. Um. Oh, she's picking fruit. Ooh! She picking fruit. And, uh... We see a little bit of the fruit underneath, you know what I'm saying, dude? Yo. Oh, no, that's just her leg. Okay. I thought it was, like, something else. Like, a little bit of the... What do you call it? Um... Not pantyhose. It's, uh, something else. I can't remember. But, uh... I thought I was seeing a little bit of that panty shot. You get what I'm saying, dude? But it's actually just her leg. Yeah. It's still good, though. Still good. You gotta see that inner thigh, dude? Really nice. Yo, she's trying to paint, dude. And she's like... Why did I wear a white dress, dude? Look at this, dude. And and then you were like, you were like, oh man, what a shame, dude. What a damn shame. Look at that. Oh, such a nice dress, dude. Right? Look at that, dude. Okay, okay. Listen. Look at the flex of the leg muscle, right? Because she, she's standing right here. She's she's standing, and and obviously she's gonna be flexing the muscle that's leading down to the to the foot, right? This almost looks a little unfinished, right here. Yeah, you kind of you you can see the underdrawing. Huh. Wow. I guess it's like, uh, she's not fun finished painting, you know, he's not finished painting either. Ooh. Uh, this one's a little overblown. <clears throat> Oh, dude, she was painting, and then she's like, oh, got the dog, dude. Right? Oh, she's trying to keep the... Dude, that pinch, bro. That pinch? So good, dude. So subtle. I guess this is a, this is the paint collection right here. Where, where, there's a lot of... Oh, she painted herself into a corner. What is she gonna do? She's like... She's like... Look at me, dude. What a... What I'm such a dunce, bro. You know, I painted myself into a corner, dude. I can't do nothing, dude. Here we go. Oh, she's uh, painting that cock red, dude. You get what I'm saying, dude? Except that, that I don't know, that doesn't sound as uh, sexy as it, as it should, you know? It's like... That sounds like a, a, a bad incident, dude. A trip to the hospital. This one's really nice. I have this as like another wallpaper, right, for for a time. Um, but I'm like, where's the high quality version? Because they're, they're like, it's weird because there are high quality versions of these paintings like archived, but like they're not in this book, you know. So I'm I'm assuming um, this might be like an older version, or uh, maybe maybe they just didn't update. We got some gardening going on right here. I really like this uh, like little basket that she's got right here. I don't know what that is. It's like that's just really cool. Oh my goodness, <clears throat> dude! I feel like every page I flip, he's just getting better and better and better and better, dude. <clears throat> yeah. Ah, uh, the vids got me. Not actually. Not. I'm just joking. Don't want people to be concerned. Let's see. Uh, got a got a beautiful woman coming out of that that uh, that car, that luxury car, dude. And as you can see, dude, right? Uh, she ain't got that bra underneath, right? Because you see a little bit of that, ooh, ooh, you know, the little little. Uh, Hershey's Kisses right there. Oh, oh, bro, she got the little Hershey's Kisses right here. Oh, bro. Hashtag free the nipple, dude. Damn, I really like this one. I love her face, dude. She is gorgeous. Oh, and here's a here's a photo of uh, Gil with his uh, model right there. Oh my god, dude. Look, look, see the real woman. She does not compare to the fucking painting, bro. Okay, he turns he turns the like a, like 
regular flesh, dude, into angels, bro. Okay? That's all I gotta say, bro. Look at him. Wow. Dude, look at that fabric. Look at that fabric right there. Oh my god. Oh my god. And that car looks so nice, too. That's just quality. That's just quality right there, dude. Oh me, oh my, dude. There we go, another woman coming out of the car, right? Um, did she take off her seatbelt? Looks like her seatbelt's still on. Or is that like part of her outfit? I don't know. Maybe it's still in class and it needs to like, you know, go out. Oh my god. Oh dude, look at that armpit. See, armpits? are difficult, okay? Most people don't know that, like, the armpit is, like, like, it has, like, three intersecting muscles, you know? Like, there's, like, the one here, like, and then, like, there's the one that goes over, over this, you know? So, it's, like, you know, he, like, obviously he knows his anatomy, right? But it's nice to see, uh, good armpits, right? Forgot that that's, like, a, a thing, dude. You know what I mean? I'm just saying, like, a lot of people, they don't know how an armpit works, right? This one, fantastic, dude. Look at that. Like, I love this composition. I love that look on her face. I love this, like, slightly translucent dress, dude. The warmth of that nip, right? And, like, that slide, you know, the motion. The motion of this image, dude. So good, dude. They don't make images like this anymore, man. They don't make they don't make stuff like this. Have we truly evolved, you know? Is art really better now? I don't know. Ooh. We got a we got a fire girl coming down the, the pole, you know? Hopefully uh, to treat the uh, firemen who have had a hard day's work, you know, and she's like She's like, ooh, let me come down. Let me help out, dude, you know? Let me put out those fires with you, boy. Oh! And for a second, dude, these tired men, dude, they smile, dude. And they go, thank fucking God, dude. Thank fucking God for this woman, this beautiful, gorgeous woman, dude. Here we go, here we go, perfect example, all right? See, the photo, it's all right, you know? It's all right, it's an okay photo. Right? But then you boom. You you uh you uh Gil Elfgrinify it, dude. Boom. Now we got all this color. Now we got this beautiful composition, dude. Now we got this like this oh, you know, we got the subtlety, dude. We got these the warmth of the skin, dude. Oh my goodness. Oh dude, look, I there's even like little little hooks to show like, oh it's a it's a it's a fake, dude. Yeah. And you can see he's adjusted the broom for it to be like a real witch's broom. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we got a pirate woman. You know, she's looking for that booty, you know. And we as the audience are also looking for that booty, right? Okay. Fall changeover. Oh. Yeah, we got a woman, you know, covered in fall leaves, right? Because of the changing of the seasons, right? Beautiful. Oh, we got a we got a Harlequin. Hey. Damn. Imagine this was the source of a uh, Harley Quinn and her outfit. You know what I mean? That would be fucking cool. <clears throat> like this, as in like this particular image, because uh, I know. I know Bruce Tim. He uh, he loves some pinups, bro, and <clears throat> it's obvious that he's looked at Gil Elvin's work. You know what I mean? Dude, look at this beautiful ass. Dude, look at that face. Look at that. Oh, look at that ass. Oh, bro. For the best results, called MI six uh, four six six four. Dude, phone numbers were weird back then. You know, I guess they had like little digits, but like, I don't know. It just feels like uh, there should be way more. 
Bro, look at this cowgirl, dude. She's putting on them boots. Look at those... Look at them legs, bro. That's just fantastic. I like that they combined all the... All the cowboy girls right here. All the cowgirls. Cowboy girls. All the cowgirls. Oh, we got a... We have a native woman, right? Yeah. This would be considered a cultural appropriation back then, but, uh... Or now. But, uh, back then, dude, it was just some fun, dude. You know? Hey, we're just wearing a costume, man. You know? Now it's like, oh, dude, big fucking deal, bro. You know what I mean? Oh, my God. Look at this. Oh, my God. Over a barrel? And it's so, look how playful this is, you know? It's like, yeah, it's a fake horse, you got a saddle right here. But she's having a good time, dude. You know? Oh my god, what? I'm surprised there isn't real horses. I'm surprised there hasn't been a real horse yet. Uh, here we go, another high quality photo. Because I can see the green of the, the, tech, the canvas. Here we go, another instance of, uh... Look how, um the artist uplifts the image, right? Like, this is nice, like, you know, it's nice, but she, it's like, like, this is like, okay, you know, it's like, it's all right, you know? It's sexy, but like, this, all right, that's sexy, okay? That's, like, it's got all the color, it's got composition, it's got the fucking, um, the, the factor of the fact that it's paint, you know, when you, like, when you draw something, or paint something, um, you know, if you're good, right? Like, if you do, like, you have an image, right? And then you draw it, right? Um, and you draw it well, it will always look better than the image itself, right? Um, that's just a fact. And I think it has to do with uh, simplification, right? You know, in real life, there's like, there's all these like mechanics working, making it like really complex and shit, right? But when you do a drawing, you you simplify, right? Even if even if you render the fuck out of something, right? Um, there will be a natural simplification, right? Because uh, you know you're not drawing like muscle fibers and every single thing you know going into something. I mean, even if you do, right? It's gonna be simplified as opposed to like you know, reality. You know what I mean? Reality is like, you see it all, right? You know what I mean? Like, 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 like you look at my hand, like, you see every little, like, wrinkle and, and all that shit, right? But if you do a drawing of my hand, you're naturally gonna simplify a lot of the stuff, right? You're not gonna draw, like, every little, you know, skin flake that's on the hand, because that's, like, it's not gonna look, re it's not gonna look realistic, you know what I mean? Um, so, like, like I said, there's a natural simplification uh, of images, there's, there's the abstraction, right, and the focus on uh, making appealing shapes, right, which will naturally um, make an image look better than the source, right? Like, like you have an ugly man, like an ugly old at, you know, like an, like an ugly gross old man. You make him into a drawing. That's like, it's like, oh dude, that's a good drawing. That's a cool. That's a that's a nice old man. You know what I mean? And same thing applies to a young beautiful woman, right? And yeah, even more so. Oh, here we go. She's setting up her targets. All right, here's here's uh, where the ad's gonna be. All right. Beautiful. He really likes that little, like you know, the the skirts with the like the little little things hanging from it. You know what I mean? Oh, dude, look at her crack that whip. Boom, dude. I love the motion of that. Bro. What is she putting on? Like, what's that hat thing? Like, what is this? Like, for a second, it made me feel like, like, oh, dude, she's uh, trying to be a bug, you know? Like, she's got some feelers going. I think it's a feather. Yeah. I don't know what's going on right there. But look at this one, dude. Oh my god, I love the shortness of this, of this skirt thing, right? She's still, uh, she's still putting on her accessories, right? But like, she's showing. Her, she's like, hey, look, I'm a, I'm a cowgirl, dude. And you're like. You're like, yeah, yeah, you are, dude. 
You know what I mean? Oh, here's where the ad would be. Bro. They don't make them like they used to, man. I'll tell you, dude, if this, if this were an ad right now, uh, that shit would sell, okay? That shit would sell right away, dude. But now we're like, oh, dude, we want videos, you know? Like, fuck that, dude. What about images? You know, what about paintings, dude? What the fuck's going on right here? Um, let's see, 309. Uh, a neat display. Uh, I guess she's setting up a display? Right? Because, uh... She's looking alive and well, but that leg don't. Right? Right, she's- ooh, she's showing that pinch. You know, damn. Yeah, yeah, because you, you can see, like, you know, she's setting up something. Okay, alright. Yeah, yeah. Because I was like, is, is she the mannequin? You know what I mean? Or is she, like, switching out her leg, you know? But it's like, no. <clears throat> no, that's not what's happening. Oh, dude, she's trying to get that, that pinch of the waist, dude. That impossible pinch. That, uh... Like, like, like the model right here, dude. You know, but she's like, oh, I wish it could be like this, dude. But, you know. Um, yeah, I'm surprised people don't wear corsets now that much. I mean, yeah, they're uncomfortable. But, um... Like... They were a big thing for a long time, you know? Ooh, gotta pinch in that belly, dude. Yeah, I'm guessing she's, like, designing a dress right now. Oh, we got it. Dude, this one's really nice, dude. Love that expression. She's uh, stitching up her own dress. Oh, we're getting the little doggies. We're getting the doggies. Look at that, dude. A wholesome, all-American girl, dude. With some, with some puppies, man. With a crate of puppies, dude. And you get a little bit of that leg. Okay, a little bit of that leg action, dude. Okay, that's, that's American, all right? That's, that's all American. Okay, that's grade A beef right there, all right? Damn. Damn, dude. Wait, little, little dog with chocolate. Oh, dude, don't feed him, dude. Dogs can't eat chocolate. Damn. He's like, he's like, oh, I want it, I want it. And it's like, oh, that'll, that shit'll kill you, bro. Was that known back then? Was that a thing? Oh, here we go. We got a dog playing, right? Oh, he covered himself in the in the paint, dude. And she's like, she's like, oh, Scott, or I was gonna say Scott, Spot. Oh, Spot. You know, leaving all these spots on the ground too. Come on, what you doing? You know, and she's look, look at that loving, loving expression, dude. You know, that's her dog. She loves him. Yeah. Look at this dog. Look at this pug. Dude. She's like, oh my god, he's so cute. And he's like, Rrr. I'm cute, I guess. Oh my goodness. I swear I saw- Oh yeah, this is from the image uh, from before. Yeah. We got a dog going up, right? And she's like, oh, I ain't getting my dress covered. Bro. Oh, she's, uh, she's lifting- this uh, table right up, right with the dog on top, dude. She's like, magician's trick, bro. Call this number for surprising results. Oh. Let's see, another high quality one. Yeah, it's weird. It's weird that some of the higher quality ones are like smaller, you know? Like that's what bothers me. Like, like the high quality ones should just be blown up to a full page, like every single one of them. Right, but they don't. It's I, I don't know. I don't understand that decision making. You know. Like I wish I could just have a big ass book, where it's just like one page, one page, one page. That would be fucking. That would be grand. Okay. Uh, get on, get on it, Tashin. Yeah, we got a little 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 bullfighter right here. He's like, you know, he's like, uh. What do they say? Fuck. 
was it like Ale? No. To yeah, Toro. Toro, Toro! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um We got a woman playing. What is that? What kind of instrument is that? What is that? Or is that or is she like I know that's like a violin uh thing, but like is she like is she like repairing it? Is she playing music? And then the dog's like, oh, that's adorable, dude. Look at that dog. Look how fucking, look how nice that dog is, dude. That shit is adorable, dude. Um, oh, we got a woman, you know, and she's got some bubbles going around. He's like, pop on the, on the head of the dog. He's like, Rrr. oh my God, we got a girl. Dude, she's playing with a bunch of little kitties. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Oh, dude, she's playing with a squirrel. Oh my god, dude. Look at these. Dude, pets plus sexy woman, dude. Gold. Gold. Okay. You want to make good images, dude? Just do that, dude. Yeah. See, look how many look how many dogs he painted, dude. He really must have liked dogs. Yeah. I'm more of a cat person, so maybe I'll uh I'll paint some cats with uh, some of my girls. Oh, another uh, elevator. Oh, no, 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 no. Revolving door. Yeah, yeah. So we got a, a little wardrobe malfunction with a revolving door. And just whoosh, whoosh, And the dog's like, hey. You know? Let's see. Call me at 9129. I wonder if any of these numbers still work. You know what I mean? Like, can you call 9129? You know? Like what what happens? Nothing, right? Some oh, some more Nestor right here. Damn, dude. That guy, he gets around, man. Um, what's happening right here? Is that is that That looks like an ice cream cone, but I don't think it is. It's something else. Hold on. Um, let's see. Uh 27 Ticklish situation. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I thought it was an ice cream cone, but... Nah. Yeah, don't know what that is. That's probably just something from back then that we cannot identify now. Oh, he has the key. He has the key to the trunk, and she's like, oh, she's like, pretty please, dude. Damn, she's stuck, dude. Yo. <laughs> and that dog's like, mm-mm, mm-mm. Sorry. Right now, you're too, you're too beautiful right now. You're too sexy right now. Can't help myself. Here we go. 329. Bird's eye view, well built. Okay. Plan for the for top service and quality. Okay. <laughs> it's funny they say that and like the birdhouse is like it's it's okay. It's okay as a birdhouse, but it's like, you know, you have like that weird like diagonal piece of wood that's like, oh I don't know how to build. You know what I mean? And it's kinda like you know, on the roof. That's funny. We got a duck right here, and she's uh, she's a little apprehensive about the goose, right? You know, gooses, as we know, are uh, are, are not the kindest of people, right? Here we go. This image is so nice right here. I love this like composition with the with the uh, com you know with the background just slowly disappearing. You know, there's shapes here that are you know like. Uh, like, I'm assuming this would be like a couch or something, and it's like absent. You know what I mean? Yeah, I love these partial um, compositions that look like, you know, it's just like a vignette. You know what I mean? Here we go. Feathers and fashion. Oh. This is a another Hallmark picture. Very high quality. And I love the, I love the use of green, because it's like... There's like green here, green here. Um, this couch thing is a little bit green, you know, and then 
that 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 opposes the uh, the red of her hair and the lipstick, you know. So it's just it's really really nice. Yeah, and and the shoes, I guess. Yo, this image, that shit looked a little, a little slooty. You know what I mean? A little slootier than uh, than it should. You know? She's just she's just bobbing for apples, but you know we're like she's like oh, oh, damn, bodybuilder, damn. She's uh lifting these weights up. Oh, dude, I love the color of this dress. Look at the way the fold is just... <laughs> Damn. Ah, man, that's so nice. These are all so nice, man. And we're, we're like... We're, we're, we're a little bit more than halfway through, but... Man, what a, what a nice collection of images, dude. This man's work, second to none, dude. In the game of pretty girls, dude, Gil Elgrin is king, dude. Got a woman going down the slide, right? Having some fun, dude. All right, we get a little bit of, you know, the peek under the covers, you know, but it's, it's sexy, dude. Remember the mantra, dude, uh, wholesome American woman an accidentally sexy situation. Damn. Yeah, another we got another windy moment right here. Right? And uh she's she's uh she's about to do some uh some archery. Yeah, very nice. Um Another one of those images where I've seen it online at, at an extremely higher quality. Um, like I said, maybe this this book is like older print, so not surprising. Oh, dude, going places, yeah, dude, you going places, dude. Let's see. Uh, we have a a woman on a rickshaw. Yeah. Uh, shout out to the to the. Uh, the Asians, I guess. Yeah. We got this woman, she's on a carriage, I think. Yeah, but look at that dress, like, look at that motion right there. That's just, that's gorgeous, man. Oh, this is just really nice. Look at me. Got this girl on a bike, on a, sorry, motorcycle. Oh, bro. This one is so nice, right? Damn, dude. As an artist, I appreciate this one, right? Look at that. You, you got a girl at a at an easel, you know? One of the one of the uh, the drawing horses. Yeah. Um, if you guys are wondering, if you guys have never sat in one of these uh, and you're wondering like that looks uncomfortable. Uh, it is. It is extremely uncomfortable, dude. It is not a good way to draw, you know? Right? Uh, if, if any of you guys draw or paint or anything, right? Um, you know, with the exception of uh, digital stuff, I, even with digital stuff, it's better to stand, okay? I'm just going to tell you right now. Um, drawing, painting, uh, anything when it, when it comes to creative shit, it's better standing, okay? You know? Like, if you can. Like, watercolor, you can't do that because, you know, it needs to be flat, right? But, like, charcoal, using pencil, using, you know, uh, even, like, digital, like a like a Cintiq, right? Um, I, I have a teacher who had a standing desk, right? And I'm like, that's probably saved him a lot of back pain, you know? Because these horses, they are, they are backbreakers. And the stools, too. The stools they have in art schools are awful as well, right? Um, I feel like it's all meant to encourage you to be like, I'm just gonna fucking stand, dude. Fuck this, you know? Right? And then you get used to, like, standing for three hours straight. It's like, it's nothing, dude. Right? 
Compared to sitting on this for three hours straight, dude, your your spine is gonna be dislocated, dude. There we go. <coughs> Make a date. Oh look, it's pictures of Gil. That's funny. That's a cool little reference. Right. Man, I love this. I love this. Uh, like this uh, kind of striped um, shirt with this uh, this black and red dress. That's really nice. That's a nice combo right there. Yeah. Got a really low low resolution image right there. For the best service anywhere. Yeah. The wreck room. Yep. Oh! Partial coverage. Yep. Um, I'm guessing something happened to her dress. So she uh, she can't use it anymore. Oh, we got a little bit of strip poker. Oh. Ooh. Sorry about the plane going over him. It'll pass. Let's see. Fucking crashes like right directly into me, dude. It'll pass. Here we go, look at this one. Bro, can I get this can I get this uh card set right here? You know, Gil Elfgren card set. Where I get to see uh, all the busty babes, dude. Oh my god. Look at this. I love that pose. I love that. And the hair going up like that, dude. And this and the and this uh translucent fabric, you know, creating this nice composition, dude. Bro, this is that's gold, dude. That's fucking good, man. I just love re revisiting these images and then finding new favorites again. You know what I mean? Cause like, you know, you like after I look through this book, I'm just gonna be like, oh, and then I'll forget it, and then I'll look through the book again and I'll be like, oh dude, I remember this dude. You know, or or like I don't even remember seeing this at all, you know? So it's just it's just some fantastic stuff, man. Look at that, look at got a got a redhead right here, you know, she's being a little tantalizing, right? I love this high key composition. Yeah. What's going on up there? We got helicopters going around? the thought police we cannot let you look at these sexy women that's illegal but 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 we live in a free country no you don't not anymore you perv sexy women aren't allowed here dude they don't exist <gasps> no there you go. I'm, I've just been looking at this one what is this So nice, man. Look at that, tri that triangular composition right here. That's just a classic, dude. Okay, classic. I like to use a triangle uh, composition as well. Always good. Oh, we got some uh, some tits out, right? With this uh, nice, beautiful black lacing right here. That's gorgeous, man. Uh, I guess she's uh, getting ready for the night. Hold on, 360. Fascination. Yo, I'm fascinated right now, dude. Let's see. This one. 159. Bewitching. Yup. Yup, yup, yup. And she's got some roses, right? And those roses. What do they have, dude? Thorns. Okay. Because every rose has its thorn, dude. Just like every night has its dawn. Let's see. Brown and big label. Man. Where's all the brown and big lows right now, dude? You know? Why why aren't they why aren't they paving the way for for all these sexy paintings, dude? My god. Look at that look at that leg, dude. Look at that beautiful leg. Look at that lacing, dude. Look at that wow wow right here, dude. Look at that face, dude. Just man.
It's just a visual feast. Sitting pretty. Uh, Celeste. Oh, okay. I guess her name is Celeste. Oh, she sat. She sat on a wet paint be uh, bench. That's funny. Yeah, the sign fell, so I guess she wouldn't have seen it. And look at this one. Uh, let's see, six thirty-three sixty-eight. One for the money. Yeah, I guess she's like writing a letter, and she's uh, practicing her, her uh, you know, kisses on the, on the thing. You know what I mean? Back when that was a thing. You know, I don't think people do that anymore. I guess, you know, because people don't write letters anymore. But, uh, yeah, dude. Vote. I feel like, you know, if you had this image, dude, that would encourage people to vote twice as hard. Okay? Damn. You got the donkey and the elephant. I never understood why, like, that's, like, the symbols for, like, our, our parties. You know what I mean? Like, what is that about? You know, leave it down in the comments. We got a girl. Uh, she's looking to get some butterflies. Right? And uh, she's just sitting pretty on that on that uh, chair right there, or not chair, uh, on that branch right there. Yeah. yeah so here, here's my idea for this for these. Oh my god, look at that drawing. Look at these. This is my idea. All right. So what if you had. Like the really high res photos, big. And then like the lower res photos, small. You know, I mean obviously they're doing that already. But like like, you know, one full page here, you know, which is the, the high quality. And then like the lower quality, you have like maybe a couple here, and they're all they're not they're not made in this weird collage format. You know what I mean? I think that would do better for the book overall. Get a woman, look at the telescope. Uh, a breeze hits, you know. Oh, dude, look at that, look at that dress. You know, look at that, that paint treatment, it's so nice. Oh, yo, she just graduated from college, okay. She's a educated woman, dude, right? But uh, I guess underneath, dude, you know, she's a, she a little slutty, you get know what I'm saying, dude? She's a little sexy underneath, dude. Oh, dude, air conditioning. That's funny right here. Is there... Hold on. 374? That is cooling off a cool number. 376. Sketch for figure. 377. Um, yeah, it's it's funny to see, like, the sketch... Um, looks so much more high quality than the actual picture. Right, so you can see right here, see see how like the low res just really, really kills the quality of the image? You know, I mean not the quality, but like like you can't see the actual colors, you can't see the actual like beauty of the painting, right? And like this looks so much better than this. But that's just because, you know, it's just you know high resolution. Right? Bro, look at this. What is this one called? 378. Welcome traveler. Oh, she's just, uh, she's just left home, you know, she's a little sad, she's a little homesick, right? But, uh, she's, uh, she's at a new spot, dude. Damn, look at that green dress, man, that's just, that's dynamite, bro. That's dynamite. Here we go. Let's see, x-ray. Inside story, overexposure. What's the inside story? Uh, what's going on here? I, I, I don't know, is there a story going on here? I can't tell. X-ray table. Like, I like how you can kind of see like the outlines of the, the boobs right here. You know what I mean? That's, that's attention to quality. Or attention to detail right rather. Yeah, and you can see like, it's see-through right here. So you can see a little bit of her arm poking through. That's really nice. Um, what is this? Is this a boat? Uh, 380. Uh, looking good. Or good looking. She is good looking, dude. 
that's uh, I guess that's all there really is to it. Dude, this is just straight up Marilyn Monroe right here. This image. That's fantastic. Dude. See, another image where I'm like, I wish this was bigger. Um, open every night. Did they spell night back? Did they spell night like that back then? What? That's weird. Could be. Could be a thing. Let's see. 383. Who, me? Hard to suit. Okay. Um, I guess she's going out for a hunt. Got this nice shotgun right here. Uh, this nice boot and the hunter's cap, right? Or uh, maybe uh, maybe she's the wascally wabbit, you know, that Elmer Fudd's trying to get, you know? Um, I forgot that with dresses, they always have, like, this kind of, like, uh, like these, you know, uh, flexible frames underneath to kind of keep the, uh, the thing, uh, you know, poofed out. You know what I mean? Yeah. I forgot that was a thing. It's really nice. Mm. Man, we are... We are deep in this book, but there is still so much more. Like, holy shit. <clears throat> yeah, I think I'm gonna try to go through this a little bit quicker, you know, and just pick the ones that I really like. Here we go, look at this one. On the run, ooh! Yo, is she hitchhiking? She's like, yo, let me show you a little of that leg, right? Get that, get that right out of here. Damn. Dude, this one's nice, dude. She's literally just stepping out of the frame, you know? Damn, bro. What is this one called? 389. Stepping out. Yup. Damn, can you imagine, dude, like one of these girls, dude, stepping out and just being like, hey, dude, and you're like, <gasps> you're real. See, this is the problem, dude. Even if I do the whole, like, you know, move faster and pick my favorites, it's still gonna be like, oh, dude, I like all these, dude. That's the fucking problem with Gil Elgrid, man. His work is just too fucking good, bro. Look at that. We got a girl on a camper seat, right? She's a... I guess she's adjusting herself. Look at that face. Look at that pouty face. Oh, my God. That's so cute, dude. It's so nice. This one. This is another famous one that, uh, that I see everywhere, right? I'm surprised it's not bigger. Wow, look at that. Look at that tantalizing angle, bro. Oh! She's a, she's a, what do you call it? Making a, a sweater or some shit, right? And uh, it's not, it's not quite done yet, but she's like, oh, how does it look, dude? And you're like, looks just fine, baby. You know, looks just fine. I, you know what, dude? I keep it just like that, dude. Okay? It's basically finished. <laughs> Oh. Dude, this one's really nice. See, that's the... Here we go, dude. Like, the the, the, the continue... Oh my god, these are all so nice, dude. This is the continual problem, dude. I'm gonna be like, oh, dude. I like all of them. And I do. Here we go. Uh, she's coming out of the boat. She's trying to prevent herself from getting wet. You know, we get a little... Ooh! Little, little peek under the covers, dude. Right, just a little peek, just a little one. All right, keeping it wholesome. Here we go. This one is one of my favorites. I love this one so much. Um, where she's like, you know, she activated the engine, and I guess uh, her her dress got caught up in there, right? And then she's like, oh shit, dude. Right, and we get to see. Uh... Oh yeah, and then it creates the uh, the quick motion over. And uh, you know, rip, you know, taking off her hat, doing all this shit. It's really nice. Wow. Oh, dude, we have this one. Dude, she slipped, dude. Oh, she got a little, she got a little bump on her butt. Oh no. Oh no, dude. We gotta fix that right away. 
That's no good. Oh, poor, poor girl, dude. Right? And we as the audience are going like, I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry this happened, dude. Except, uh, sorry, sorry if I'm a little pleased by it. You get what I'm saying, dude? All right, here's the reference. See, look at that. The reference does not, like, this is like, whatever. But this, this is like, whoa. You know what I mean? There's that difference, dude. Oh. All right, so we're we're uh we're going through the seasons now, right? Okay. Wow. Oh, dude, I guess uh she she lost her swimming trunks and so she went down to to fish for it. Look, look at those fish, dude. They're like, they're like, hey, dude. You know? Damn, we got this little little uh water displacement. Wait. Yeah, water displacement right here to. To, to cover it up, dude. Damn. Look at this one, dude. She's in the jungle. You know, she's a... Dude, this is... Wow. Just... This is gorgeous, bro. This one's so fucking nice. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I really like this one. Like, the colors, the pose, the composition. This bird going... Wah! You know, that's so fucking nice. Yeah. I like this one, too. Little pet penguin. Oh, she uh, dropped her ice cream, dude. Where is it? Is it was was she like at the very like end of the ice cream and it just went ooh, right on the on the ooh right on the boobie? Damn. Oh, the boy is on the table. Here we go. Here we go. What is he gonna do? Ooh, fireworks. That's cute. Man, look at that. Man, the reference, dude. Look at this reference. It's like, it's okay. You know? It's alright. And then just boom, dude, with the painting. I'm telling you, man. Pictures do not compare to a painting. Okay. Uh oh. Boy. Get down. I'm trying to do some work here. <clears throat> okay. Oh, look at the green right here. Look at that green. That's so nice. Damn. You know, I should start using green more, you know? Like, it's not one of my... Well, I, I actually use green a lot. Never mind. Never mind. But I should... I Like, as a... As like the central color, you know what I mean? Yeah, I should use. I should try out green more. Here we go. The late Brown and Bigelow years, 1960 to 1972. He was still making shit to fucking 1972, bro. bro. <sighs> this is a uh, another one of my favorites, dude. This is also in the in the Tashin. Uh, what do you call it? Like pinups you could buy, right? Look at this. Look at that sketch, bro. Look at that fucking sketch, dude. That's just gorgeous, man. That's just fantastic, dude. And look at this painting. It's even more gorgeous, dude. Oh my god. Bro. Mr. Gil Elgren, dude. What a talent, dude. What a fucking talent, dude. <laughs> right now, my cats are fighting. Let's see. Ooh, this is so... Man, this is sexy, dude. This is sexy, dude. This is sexy, dude. They're all sexy, bro. This is probably the same figure or photo. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And then and then he just uh, repurposed it for later. Dude, I like this. I like this dark hair girl. Damn, dude. Yo. And again with that green background to go against the the red of her lipstick. That's just so nice. Ooh. Bro, look at the fabric right here. Oh my god. I love the way he does fabric, dude. It's just like like pillows, dude, of like clouds. 
you know? Like, looking looking at the texture of, like, some, some cheesecake, bro. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh, she got a wig on? She's trying out different hair. Damn. For some reason, this reminded me of the... Of the, uh... The girl from, uh, Queen's Gambit. Yeah. I don't know why. Oh! Ooh. Oh, she got the tan lines? Bro. Listen, dude. I love me some tan lines. Okay? Tan lines are just... That's that's it, baby. You get what I'm saying, dude? And look at those tan lines, dude. Those are so well-defined, dude. You get a little bit... Oh, right here. You get a little... Oh, right here, dude. Damn, it's just enough, dude. Just enough. Okay? Damn, look at that, look, look at the toes. Look at that, look how subtle those are. I guess, I guess you guys can't see it, but like, it's like, the way he painted it, they're kind of like losing themselves into each other, and that's just, oh my god. Bro. I ain't a feet guy, but those feet are fucking, those are nice, bro. Those are so nice. Look at this, look at this, here, look at this. This is the model. Right? She her face is a little like, uh, you know. Right? But then look at the result, dude. That's not the same woman, okay? That's not the same woman. That is the uh we call it Gil Elvgren of Elvgrenization. Okay, of the woman. Right? And now she becomes an angel. Alright? Boom. That's how this works. Damn. Oh! That is a muy caliente. Oh! Bro. Dude, you got, you got a... You got a music version of it? Oh, no, no, no. Is it? Maybe, maybe. Yeah, maybe he took, like, two photos. Or, or he just changed the legs up. Damn, look at that. Yo, she traveled Mexico, dude. She got the poncho on. Damn. Oh, we got a we got an Indian girl right here. We got a Native American girl right here. We got a oh. She's going to Hawaii. Oh, and her uh, her uh, what do you call it? Skirt thing. I can't remember what these are called. I think they're like are they lays or this? I thought this is the lay. Yeah, this is the lay. Yeah. yeah. And she uh, oh. She was playing the uke, you know, having a good time, and then whoop! And then the only thing that's keeping her together, dude, is that uke. Ooh. Damn. That's smex, dude. Alright, we got some cowgirls right here. Bro. Yeah, sorry for all the cuts, guys. Like, that's- it's- it's my cats, okay? That's just the bottom line. It's my cats. They come in. They're doing shit. They want to come into the thing. They want to leave the thing. If you guys own cats, you know what I'm talking about. Okay? Right? So... Ugh. Anyway. So. Got some beautiful cowgirls right here. Okay? Oh. Look at this one, dude. Oh, she's hitching a ride, dude. She got a saddle, dude. Yo. Looking for a ride? You better... You better be willing to, uh... To get ridden, dude. Damn. Let's see. Rodeo, round up your problems and call. Look, look, dude, these numbers used to be so short. <clears throat> and this was in the 70s. Yeah. Wow. Hold on. Uh, 38. Oh, no, no this, is, this is 63. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Um, you want to know something crazy? Um... So, Gil Elgren would actually do these paintings in, like, two to three sessions, okay? Um, and if you, if you create work, you know, if you create art, then you know that that's insane, okay? Especially for the quality that he's doing, alright? Like, um, typically, 
at least at least for me and from what I've experienced, a session usually lasts one to three hours, right? So he could do these within uh, nine hours, dude, right? And to me, that is insane, okay? Because the level of quality, and these are big paintings. These are 30 by 40, dude. 30 by 40 paintings, okay, finished in like less than a fucking day, okay? Right? That's insane. That's just like, like, that's wacko, right? But he does it, dude, because he's just so good. Oh my god. Like the speed, man, the speed of these guys. They're... Like, Jesus. To have that power, dude, that's incredible, dude. That's a career right there. And each one, dude, just a hit after hit, bro. Look at this one. I really like this. I love that smile, dude. Okay. That all-American, dude. Beautiful. Oh, dude, we got the sheriff, dude. What's that? And you're like, hey, lock me up, dude. Lock me up. Okay. Uh, you hold the keys, dude, to my freedom, dude. Alright. Let's move on. Oh! Wait. Is this... Okay. Oh! Wow. Look at look look at the softness of the background. Okay. Look at the 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 warmth that is brought in on the the figure and the book, right? Complementing that pencil and that lipstick right there, and then she has blue eyes, so it matches with the background, right? You get a little bit of that hint of blue right here on the blouse, right on the sides. This, this is a dream right here, okay? Like, I'm telling you, dude. Um, imagine yourself, dude. Let's see, what, what year is this? 19... 1962, okay? It's 1962, okay? You, you just, you're working in the factory, dude, okay? For, for eight hours, bro. You're covered in, like, all this dirt and grime. And you're tired, and you're like, oh, fuck, dude, right? You're walking home, dude, right? Uh, you're, you're, you're a lonely guy, right? You know, maybe you have some friends and shit, but, like, you know, you're, you're single, right? Um, but you're working, you're tired, you can't do nothing, right? And then you walk past, uh, a store, right? And that store has a big poster, okay, of this woman. Right here, this this very painting right here, okay. And you know, you were like 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 walking through the grime, wading through the through the swamp, dude. Okay, and then you see this girl, dude. Okay, and for a second, dude, you're like, hey, dude, life ain't so bad, bro. You know what am I worried about, dude? You no, know, and, and then that that wade becomes a stride okay he's like you know what dude i'm gonna go home dude i'm gonna i'm gonna work hard dude right and i'm gonna find a girl just like that dude okay and then he's ready for the next day all right feeling refreshed all right and i guarantee you dude he's gonna be passing through that store okay the next day and the next day and the next day dude and each time he feels refreshed okay like oh thank god dude Thank God, dude. I made it to the day, dude. So I could see my angel. Oh! Isn't that what all men want, dude? To come home to an angel. Okay. And, uh, Gil Elgar, dude, he supplies that dream, that fantasy. Okay? Right? And it's like, oh, dude, it's unrealistic, dude. But, yeah, you know what, dude? Maybe that's the point, dude. Maybe we want to see the idyllic version, dude. Okay? Right? We don't, we don't, we don't hold it up to reality. You know? We're just there to just experience this, dude, the idealized form, okay? Of course it's not realistic. It's a fucking painting, dude. It's not real, you know? But it can make someone dream, all right? It can inspire, dude, all right? Damn. This one, this one's pretty good. I really like this one. But uh, I'm going to move on. 
Bro, I love her hair, dude. That's... I love that. I love short hair, bro. Damn. Dude, my friend Anto, he'd be going... He'd be going wild for, for this girl right here, dude. Because he loves short hair as well, dude. And, uh... Oh, my. Oh, me, oh, my. I might, I might take a photo for him later, dude. Jesus. Here we go. Look at that sketch, dude. Look at the brilliance of that sketch, dude. Boom. Right on the fucking... Right on the canvas, dude. Easy. Oh, my God. So good. And he would... He'd probably do this real quick, dude. That son of a bitch, dude. But I guess because I guess he had models and stuff. But, like, Jesus. Yeah. One day we all hope to, to have models, right? That's uh that's when uh that's when the big money rolls in, right? There we go. Got a little women uh in the shower. Oh, she got some shampoo on her eyes, right? She's like, oh, oh, where, where's the where's the towel, dude? Uh weighty problem. Damn. Yo, there's that chair again, right? That chair with those angles, bro. The angles that allow her to have that that beautiful angle. See, as you could see by the models, you know, Gil, I think he has like maybe like three three girls that he uses repeatedly, right? And uh, they are just wonderful. They're just they're just fantastic girls, man. I love this one. Yo, chef's surprise, dude. Right? She's always blocking the heat with her, uh, with her dress, dude. Don't let that smoke come in, dude. Yo, this is cool. He he's doing a beautiful drawing, and then also doing like his interpretation of like a Picasso, you know, with a with the same girl. That's really cool. That's just like you know, that's just fun. I bet he would have had fun doing that. He's like, oh, you know what, dude, I'm a I'm gonna add a little my my interpretation of Picasso's work, you know? a little cubism. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, she on the telephone, yo. She be talking to you all night, dude. Talking to you all night, dude. Wish you were near the right number. Oh. happened right here? Is she like... Uh, is this 46? Yeah. No, six, sorry, 68. Let's see. Modest maneuver. Oh, okay, so her thing became unclasped, and she's just like, you know, she's like, oh, I'll use this bush as cover. Yeah. Let's see. 73... Last stand, fair meeting, okay? I guess she's a... She's a... Le she's leaving her a country bumpkin home, right? She's going to the big city, right? So she's uh, she's waiting at that bus stop in her nice shoes, but, uh... You know, the, the grime... The grime of her home will never be quite gone, you know what I mean? She'll always carry that with her. Ooh, yo, Speed Racer, again, that beautiful green in the background, what happened right here, what is this, why does is, what is the, uh, the headlamp have all this, like, B BS on it, is that, like, the winner thing, I don't know, it looks like it's, like, taped up, I don't know, oh, we got a Mario Kart girl going right here, does this thing even work? Hold on. Uh, curving around sharp curves. Okay. Help wanted. Yo, this is really, really nice. I wish I had a bigger version of this. Pretty perplexed. She's like, what do I do? She needs a, she needs a man, dude, to come in and fix that car for her, bro. Damn. Bro, look at that color. Look at that color, dude. Look at that. Ooh, that teal against that pink. Oh, dude, that's just... That's just shot at me, dude. Boom. 
Sorry about that, guys. Just a little technical difficulty there, but uh, we back, right? So, uh, like I was saying before, uh, I really love the color for for this one right here. Um, yeah, I, I just like that pink and teal combo. I don't know why, but it just always works. You know what I mean? I've I've seen like you know other character designs and stuff like that um, that use this kind of color scheme, and it's just ooh. Ooh, right. You you want to know what else? Ooh, this this hip hop right here. That look. Ooh, boom. You see that? How how the hip transitions into the leg, dude. That's that's gold, bro. That's just mmm delicious. All right. This one's really nice too. I love the way the the fabric is right here. So like you know like there's so many like layers of color on top of each other. That's just that's just gorgeous, bro. Oh my god. This one's really, really nice, too. Yeah, I like this red, like, big red thing. Oh, I guess it's like a like a changing thing, and it, like, it fell, and it's like, ooh! And then you get to see a little bit of, oh! You get what I'm saying, dude? Yeah. Dude, look at the fabric right here. Look at the translucence of this black fabric. It just looks so nice, dude. Oh my goodness. Oh shit. Okay. All I gotta say, dude, is uh first thing I looked at, boom, right here, obviously. Right, boom, right? And my eyes, they widen, they <sighs> right? And then I saw this dog, okay, and I was like, that's me right now, okay? We are the dog right now, right? The audience just saw this and just like, oh, right? And I'm like, I'm like, oh, myself, dude, right? Damn, dude. I love that translucent fabric, man. That's just so nice. Oh my god, dude. And look at the, look at the way he does his background and the way it kind of blends into the hair in a similar shape. It's just, that's just goo. Okay, that's just goo. Here we go. Um, so we're getting another one where uh, you see the reference right here. You see that difference? <clears throat> now, notice how um, this picture is basically a completely different angle than this than this one, right? I mean, it's similar, but like, like she's going like this versus this picture, which is this, right? And that's a huge difference, right? Um, and, and, and it just shows that, uh, that Gil Elfgren knows what he's doing. You know, he knows anatomy, right? Um, maybe he had a different picture for this one, right? And this wasn't his reference photo. But, um, obviously, uh, the man knows how to, like, you know, spin a figure around, which is not easy, right? It's not an easy thing to do if you have, like, unless you have some reference for it, right? Um... But yeah, just just having like like all oh, this reference photo showing the spin, right? And see how he adjusts stuff all the time, right? Uh, it shows that he really knows underneath everything how to just draw, you know, an anatomy. Let's see. Ooh. Let's see. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pick my favorites, right? This one's I love this red dress, dude. See, I'm telling you, dude, he has like, he has like three models that he uses all the time, right? There's like this girl, there's this girl, and, um, let's see, and this girl, right? No, no, that's the same girl. There's this girl, this girl, and, um, there's one more. There's one more girl. And this girl right here, yeah. Yeah, I, I remember, um, I read that he had, like, three favorite models that he used constantly. So, um, I think these are the three models, right, that he's using. Let's see. Uh, dude, this one is just, just fantastic, man, All right? Um, so my, my, my friends, they play, they play a lot of gacha games, right? And in gacha games, you know, you get waifus, right? 
um, and you get skins, right? So they have all these different skins, right? Um, and this one, so and, and then, so uh, there's also the oath skin, right? Which when which is when you uh, you know you you make your oath to uh, a waifu, right? And for this one, this looks like the oath skin, right? Of like this girl right here, all right? And like these are her, you know see some of these are like variations of her skin, right? But this is her oath skin, right? Because you're like, yo, I love this waifu so much, dude. Okay, I gotta pop the question. You get what I'm saying, dude? Uh, and it's gonna cost you a lot of gems. You understand me, right? I don't play much gacha at, at all, uh, but uh, that's that's one of those like aspects that I really like about the that type of game. You yeah. know, it's so it's so a uh, wish fulfillment, right? Because uh, who wouldn't want to marry one of these girls? You get what I'm saying, dude? Right? Who wouldn't want a <sighs> oath ring? Damn. Here we go. See, another case of, uh, what do you call it? Like, um, look how he could adjust things, you know, in the reference, right? Because, like, look at this, look at this photo, right? It's, it's, like, it's okay, you know, it's there, right? But, like, when you, when he makes the painting, it's just, like, wow. What a difference. You know what I mean? Like, Jesus. Look, look, look. Um, you know, the, you know, obviously they have, like, the target in the back. But, like, look at it. It's just a, he's just using a drawing table, right? As his thing, right? Um, and then the rest is just that Elfgren magic, all right? That, that is for the artist to, to, uh, to change, right? Wow. This guy is so good, dude. Bro. You get a little, you get, look at, look at, look at the subtlety right here. Okay, you get the, you see a little bit of the ass, right? And you see that very, very, very subtle hue shift, right? You see that? You see that right there? Where you get to see a little bit of that undie, right? A little bit of them panties, right? Um, and it's just like this slight, like, slightly brighter purple, right? And that's just gold, bro. That's just really, really, really good stuff. And it's so subtle. You can bear like if you if you squint, it just it gets obscured by the shadow, right? So uh it, it as um one of my teachers once said, dude, you know, you gotta you gotta give them a reward for looking close at a painting, right? Like far away it looks great. But like when you look when you get close, there should be a reward, right? There you go, dude. That's your reward. A little bit of that pantyhoe action. Speaking of pantyhose, this girl, uh, she uh, she's showing a lot more than this girl. Damn, dude. <clears throat> oh, there's a gambling girl catching all the coins with her uh, with her dress. That's nice. All right, so we're getting like a little summer theme going on right here. You know, got a lot of, a lot of fun in the sun, right? Um, this is this is just a fantastic one right here. Uh, I really, really love um, this pinup. Uh, look at her, dude. She's like, oh, dude, we're having a picnic, you know? And oh, she got a little bit of uh, ketchup on her dress. She's like, look, look what happened, dude. And you're like, oh, dude, what a shame, dude. As the gaze goes down here, right, where you're like, oh, hey, right. Bro, look at that. Uh, another uh, wholesome all-American girl, dude, in an accidentally sexy situation, dude. That's gold. All right, man. You know, she she looks a little bit like a like the Wendy's girl. You know, if like she like let her hair down. You know, like like this is like the the fifties uh, Wendy's girl. You know what I mean? Even though this shit's like uh, in the 60s. Hold on, let's see. What is this? 500. This was made 1966. Damn. What a different time, man. Look at this. This one. That is just. Oh. 
Look at the back muscles right here. Look at that. Look at that anatomy. It's just fantastic, bro. Um, wish I had a higher quality version of this one. This is, um, let's see, 503, 1968. Oh, no. And the dog is like, oh, yeah. And the audience is like, oh, yeah. No, okay. <clears throat> this one I actually have hanging in my in my room. This is one of my favorites too. Um, I don't know. I just it's so simple. I love like the the red, uh, the red, white, and blue, and the kind of like against this yellow, right? It's just really really nice. Um, and it's so fun. You got this nice wind, right? And you get a little bit of that leg action, right? And you get, I, I really like this little swoop that, that she's got right here. Really fantastic, and the um, like I like the way the gesture is right. It's like like here, here, you know, the opposing motion right here, right, and then um, and then that transfers through the rest of the the uh, painting itself. So yeah, really really nice. Really like this one. Oh, this is actually the cover for um, the Great American Pinup. Yeah, even though this is like actually a higher quality one, right? I love seeing these like, like if you see these paintings, um, whoever takes the photo can change the image radically, right? Or or co corrects it like it it like the painting itself like it never it'll never look like the original basically, right? So um. It's, it's interesting to see, like, you know, if someone takes, like, a higher quality photo, you know, or, 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 uh, autocorrects in a certain way, it'll completely change the image, right? So, like, um, I would love to see some Gil Elgren originals, man, and see what, like, their, like, you know, the intended, uh, look was, you know, what, what Gil himself saw, right? That would be really, really cool to see. <clears throat> Ooh, splendid view. Yes, indeed. Ooh. Ooh. Yo. Yo, look at that smile, dude. Damn. Man. This is so idealized America. I love it, dude. I love it. There you go. I love this one, too. Look at that. Look, look, at, this. look at how happy she is, dude. To be riding that pole. You get what I'm saying, dude? Damn. Here we go. Oh, we got a girl coming out of the pool, right? And she's a, uh, whoop. She might have forgotten something, okay? She might have forgotten an article of clothing and she's trying to reach for it and we're like, and, and, and she's like, help me out, dude. And we're like, I'm good, dude. I'm good. Sorry, man, you gotta, you gotta pick up that yourself, dude, right? Damn. Here we go. Uh, we got a woman on a uh, diving board, right? She, damn, look at... Even, like, in a swim cap. This is so fucking sexy, bro. Bro. I love, like, the perspective. I love the softness of those clouds, man. This is... This is just dynamite, man. Oh! Okay. Appreciative audience, right? Yup. Right here. That's us right here. That's we're like, like, hey, like, Wah. what? What noise do pelicans make? I don't even know. Um, but yeah, dude, I love. You know, I love me a tan girl, right? And she got that. She got that. Ooh, tan. You get what I'm saying? That. Oh. Damn, dude. And here she is again, dude. Okay, just for you. Damn. Oh, she drew us a little a little heart, dude. She's like, she's pointing at it. She's like, that's for you guys. And we're like, ooh. Oh. Oh. This is a this is the beach skin. Okay, this is the summer event, right? Oh. My god, dude. Yo. That's sexy. Here we go. Mm. 
Yeah, I'm trying to skip over the ones I'm like, you know, like I like them all, but you know, I'm trying to save some time because this is, I think this video is well over two hours now. Here we go. Uh, we got a we got a girl cleaning up a, a dog. You know, we'll, we'll help, dude. We'll help clean your dog. He's like, nah, 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 nah. you know, and she's like, oh no, right? Um, yeah, but dude. I love that red apron, dude. That's fucking sexy, dude. You know, it's just like, it's like, why you dress like this? It's a clean a dog, dude. Okay? Uh, because, bro. Alright? Because. Alright? This painting, that's the reason. You understand? <clears throat> and they're like, alright. I believe you, dude. I understand. Oh, dude, look at this. You know, I think this is a rare instance where... I like the pose of the photo more than the uh, than the actual um, painting itself, right? Like this is a great painting, but I, I wish I wish the that this this art this arch was here, you know? Like it's it's a little bit more subtle here, um, but this one's like, oh, dude, she's like stretching that shit out. Yeah. Here we go. It's cool to see him how he edits. You know? Let's see. Ooh, happy anniversary? Yo. Oh. Shit's going down. Shit's going down, dude. It's 2021, baby! Oh! You thought 2020 was bad? Yeah. Here we go. Happy Valentine's. Or, sorry. Happy anniversary, dude. And uh, she got a little gift for you, right? And uh, it's her. Oh! You want a bath? You want dinner? Or do you want me? Oh! 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 I'm gonna move on, dude. Oh, okay. Hold on. I just saw. So this is like my second favorite picture, but we're gonna we're gonna look at this one real quick. Okay, look at this one real quick. So we got some men at work, right? We have a. A crane operator who's uh, having a little bit of fun, right? And she's like, she's like, oh, you guys, dude, you know? We get to we get to see a little bit of that. Oh, action! Damn, dude! Look at that composition, dude. That is just so nice. Like the shapes, so fucking beautiful, right? And then you get the, you get the uh, focal point right here, dude. Right fucking here. Oh my god. Oh, this girl's playing shuffleboard. That's cool. All right, all right. So let's uh, let's go to this image right here. Okay, so this painting is actually, I think, the first uh, time I saw and recognized Gil Elgin's work, right? Or um, before I saw it, right? So I, <clears throat> so this was in like 2017 or some shit, right? Yeah, I was in Italy, right? Um, I was taking a uh, <clears throat> a painting class uh, over there, right? Um, a, a study abroad, rather. Yeah, um, I was there for about two months, and um, I saw I saw this little bag where where um, they had this girl here, right? Um, and the like the like this like the the bag was completely different like they had this but then like instead of the background there was like this pattern right they had the girl kind of cut out right um but i saw i think they had the signature elvrin right and then i looked him up and uh my world expanded you understand my brain became bigger that day right um and uh i was opened up to a whole new world of art right um, I guess not a whole new world, because I, I know I love pinups anyway, right? But, like, uh, I, I was opened up to Gil Elgin's work, and I've been loving it ever since. And he, like, very few artists, in my mind, um, like, at least who do pinup, like, can match the same kind of quality that Gil Elgin does, right? So this is one of my favorite pictures, dude. So let's, let's, so, uh, here we go. We got a, you know, a woman activating a sprinkler, right? She's a little bit too close, right? And she didn't realize, okay? And uh, she's trying to save her dress from getting wet. Dude, we get a little bit of that, ooh, right here. And we get a little bit of that wet, okay? A little bit of moist, 
right? And, um, bro. I, I really, this is like a classic image right here, dude. This is just like, I love it so much, dude. Love it. Love that purple dress, dude. Love that, like, kind of subtle hue that she has underneath the shadow with the, with the pantaloons right there. That's just golden. Golden. Okay. Wow. Damn, dude. Here we go. Oh, obviously, this, the same reference was used for both of these, right? Let's see. Oh, I really like this one. So, uh, I'm guessing she was trying to hammer in this thing, right? And, uh, uh to, to hang this picture, right? Cook, cook, cook. And then, uh, she missed. She hit her thumb, dude, right? She's like, oh. Right? What does she need, dude? She needs a man. Okay, she needs a man to come in, okay, and nail that thing right there, to nail the nail in, right, and to nail that thing as well, right, and she's like, oh, I need some help, right, boom, dude, okay, this appeals to the male fantasy, do you understand, right, oh my goodness, oh me, oh my, oh, give me a second, Oh! Looks like, um, we've had a little accident, right? We've had this beautiful woman, right? And you you guys are obviously paddling in the in the lake, right? And, uh, things happened, okay? Things happened. She's in the water, right? She, uh, and, uh, I guess she came up and she's, uh, she's wearing that little lily pad, right? That's really cute, right? Um, but she was wearing a white dress, right? And what happens with a white dress, my friends? It becomes tradition, okay? It becomes a ghost, okay? A ghost of a dress, right? And you could see through, okay? You could see through ghosts. And we could see through and see that. Oh! Oh! Okay? We can see the oh here, we can see the oh there, we can see it oh right there, dude. Damn, bro. I love this composition too. It's so nice. Wow. I love the, the that ring. The, you know, that's really, really nice, bro. Jesus. No one could do translucent materials like fucking... Like, uh... Like Gil Elgar, man. That's something, like, I'm like, I gotta get into that. I gotta, I gotta learn how to make that translucent effect, dude. That's just... That's so nice, bro. So good. I was looking at this, right, and, uh, you know, obviously this woman has bought, uh, built a doggy house. That's actually really nice. That's actually a really nice house. Um, but I'm like, why is there, like, I was thinking, like, does this have, like, Japanese symbols right here? Like, like what is that about, you know? At first, I was like, oh, no, it, it's, like, J plus S or some shit, and it's like, but no, it's not. Like, and then I realized that it has like the Japanese, uh, what do you call it, shrine thing right here. You know, the entrance. So I'm guessing that this must be some kind of like uh, Japanese breed of dog, right? Or maybe I'm just like imagining all of this. But I'm seeing a lot. Like this is this is Asian right here. This little section. This is all Asian. Yeah, that's cool. That is nice. Yo, we got a girl on a swing, right? And, and uh, she's just having fun, but un unbeknownst to her, dude, uh, we're having fun, too. You get what I'm saying, dude? Here we go. <laughs> we have a school teacher who's a... I guess... Uh, she got surprised by the uh, by the frog that some that someone brought. I, maybe they're dissecting frogs, and then like this one's actually alive, and she's like, "Oh!" Right? She she jumps up on the chair. That chair, by the way, look at that look at that fucking chair. That's just a fantastic chair, you know. But you know, you we ain't focusing on the chair, right? 
be focusing on the... Oh! Right. Yeah, look at that. Look at all these, uh... What do we call it? Educated women. Right? Damn. This one's called Teacher's Pet. Bro, that's really nice. I feel like I'm starting to see, like, the models age a bit. You know? Like, the... I can start seeing some, like, forehead wrinkle. Right? That's kind of cool. It's kind of cool to see, like, you know, the, the, the models age with the... With the paintings, right? Here you go. Advertising and miscellaneous work. Okay. So this is this is work that's just you know, you know here and there, right? Oh look at that. That's so, bro. Wait, wait, which one is this? Sylvania calendars. Okay, so these are just for calendars. Originals by Miss Sylvania. Look at this. This one's so fucking nice, dude. Bro, I want a, I want a good version of this. Like she's going to the prom, dude. Look at that, adorable. Ador, I love her face. Bro. Oh, I love this one, dude. You know, it's a, it's a night scene. Um, there's only the glow of the lantern, right? And she's getting out of that carriage, dude. Okay, that shit, that, that's mystical. Okay, that's like fantasy right there, dude. Alright, beautiful. This one looks very Hat and Sunbloom, right? Just the way the colors are laid out. Bro, that's fantastic. And I guess this is like, uh... Like, they're like, oh, we want her to have long hair. You know, or maybe just a different version. Dude, I love this one. We got a, we got a wholesome American girl, dude. We got a, a cute little doggy, and we got a shotgun, dude. Okay, if this shit ain't American, dude, I don't know what is. Okay, damn, Ditzler. Another one, dude. Uh, we got a beautiful American woman, dude. A, a grill. She's got burgers and a dog, dude. And a nice car, bro. Ooh. Damn. Oh, dude, I've seen this one a lot, with the the girl um, at the at the ski, you know, at the ski club, right? You know, oh, dude, she gotta get that ski club. You get what I'm saying, dude? Oh, um, let's see. This one almost looks like an like an actual image. I guess a lot of these do, right? Yeah, we got a girl, uh, what is it called? Jet ski? No, 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 not jet ski, um, what is it called? Water skiing. Yeah, 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 okay, okay, yeah, that makes sense. But, um, look at the, look at, like, okay, yes, this is great and all, but, like, look at that background, look how detailed the background is, that's so nice. Wow, look, he's got, like, two cars, some boats right here. Um, and you got these two people that are tiny, but they look so good. I guess because he, he paints on a really big canvas that he get these little details. But that's just, that's just really, really good attention to detail, bro. Here we go. Oh, we got a jogging woman, dude. We got a boating woman, dude. We got a racing woman, dude. We got a shuffleboard woman, dude. Damn. What is this for? Napa. Oh, this is interesting. This looks like a preliminary for Gil. Right? This one's not quite done. Because I've seen the finished version of this. Right? No? <clears throat> I've seen the finished version of this painting. This one's still not done. You can see, like, it's still... Um, there's still parts that are still kind of basic. Right? The lighting isn't quite finished. But it's cool to see um, his approach to the final. Right? Uh, yeah, I've, I've seen the final. I, maybe it was earlier in this book, but yeah, there, there's a final version of this somewhere. I can't remember where, though. Oh! What is this for? Billboards, miscellaneous advertisements. Look at these faces, dude. Look at these gorgeous angels, dude. Okay? 
look at oh dude she just she was just going for a swim and now she got a she got a a dolomiti light dude bro pick of the picnic oh she got burgers and, and beer dude oh here we go we got a girl you know smiling with a camera dude and look here's the reference wow 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 for all weather protection yo let's see i really like this one this is really high quality too a high quality photo rather <clears throat> everyone's like everyone's like hey look over there dude okay and i'm like okay listen um this is really nice uh but this is really low quality, okay? I've seen the real version, not the real, not, not, not the real version, but like the, uh, a high quality version of this painting, and it is fantastic, okay? Um, and it's, uh, it's very like Dean Cornwell, right? Um, basically what's happening is, uh, what do you call it? We have, um, you know, like an, like an Arabian prince or some shit, right? And then like they had they captured a white woman and they're selling him to her, to her uh, selling her to him, right? And he's like, yeah, 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 you know, kind of like typical, um, you know, old adventure shit, right? Yeah. But um, I wish I wish we had the better version because this this is a really gorgeous painting, but uh, the 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 quality of the photo does not represent that. Oh. Is that it? Why is this in German? Why is this all in German? Oh, okay, so so this is actually like, I think the information um, all in uh, in different languages. So like, you know, the, the text that we saw in the beginning, but now it's in different languages. All right, so let's, uh, let's just, Flip through these real quick and see if there's you know any images hidden here. This. Oh no, wait, is this a catalog? Maybe it's a catalog of everything. Yeah. Yeah, here's it's an index of uh, all the illustrations. Beautiful. Wow, that's really cool. Yep. All right, and uh. Whew. That's it, man. That is it, dude. Here we go. Post-Depression America was in desperate need of a defining iconography that would lift it out of the black and white doldrum. And it came in the form of Gil Elgren's Technicolor fantasies of, a, the, of the American dream. His technique, which earned him a reputation as the Norman Rockwell of cheesecake. Oh! Involved photographing, uh, photographing, uh, models and then paint them into gorgeous hyper reality with longer legs more flamboyant hair and gravity defying bus oh and in the process making them into the perfect moral morale boosting eye candy for every homesick private damn dude okay so this was sent to the soldiers okay you know you oh oh fuck dude and then you see this girl and you're like this is what we're fighting for boys this is why we fight okay all right guys um let's flip this over and get into that review portion all right all right guys let us enter the review portion for uh gil elgren and all his glamorous american pinups right so um as you guys saw this is a very, very, very comprehensive look into Gil Elvin's work, right? Um, I don't know if it has every single image that he's done, but like, it has a lot, okay? And this book, it's cheap. It's a cheap book, right? I think I saw it online for like 17 bucks or some shit, right? It's really cheap. It's very, very accessible. There's different versions, but they're all basically the same book, right? This is the, I think this is the Barnes and Noble version, um, and then there's also uh, a, the, you know, the Tashin version. But you know, Tashin is the one who makes this, right? That's the company that makes these, um, and they're just, they're, it's just really, really good, 
you know and unlike other books these are these are easily accessible at a fair fair price right um it's what can i say man you saw it dude you saw his work okay uh it's fantastic dude it defined an entire generation of pinups bro okay um gil elgrin uh stands as like like i said dude he's you know um him and hat and sunbloom dude right those are like they they're my number one and number two right and like they they like sometimes Hans Sunbloom gets number one in my mind, and then other times Gil Elvrin gets number one in my mind, right? So the and like you know they're student and teacher, right? So their their quality of artwork is just fantastic, dude. I'm surprised I haven't done uh, more Gil Elvrin stuff. I, I guess it's not like you know because it's only really kind of like uh, one book you need for for his work, right? But um, Gil Elvrin. Uh, one of my favorite, possibly my favorite artists of all time. Um, his work is fantastic. Uh, it, it just harkens to a different time. And it's it's all sexy shit, dude. Which I, I love it. I love it, okay? And this book is just fantastic. It, it, like, yes, okay. Um, there are the caveats, right? Like, you know, there's like some, like there's some low quality pictures. Um, the, the, uh, formatting, the layout of it could be better, you know, but the artwork itself is so good. It's that I can't really say anything. I can't really complain, you know, because this is just such a comprehensive package, man. So yeah, um, this is a, you know, fully recommend, okay? I hope you guys check out Gil Elfgren, okay? I hope you guys check out his work. He's just a fantastic artist, right? Like, like I said, possibly my favorite artist of all time, right? Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video. I hope you guys enjoyed Gil Elvrin's work, right? Uh, please leave a like if you like the video. Um, hit that subscribe button, right? Leave a, wait, did I say leave a like? Um, leave a comment, tell me how you guys feel about Gil Elvrin's work, right? And his beautiful pinups, right? Um, ring that bell for notification, all that bullshit. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks a lot.